Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It's May 5th. Happy Friday. AKA Cinco de Mayo. We were wondering, oh, well, today's episode is sponsored by Native Sunscreen. Thank you so much. You know, we were wondering if we should do something for Cinco de Mayo, like we did on St. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, mm-hmm. but I says, I'm definitely going to be canceled. I don't know what we're planning or what we're going to do, but I'm going to get I'm going to get in trouble. See, don't even Somehow I feel like even that's racist. <laughs> Why? I just feel it, Dan. Just playing. I can't touch this one. Vaguely. <laughs> Play it, turn it up, Zach. Let me hear it. Oh. 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 Come on. <laughs> no comment. No comment Woo. for me. I don't recall playing bagpipes on St. Patrick's Day. Well, that'd be weird because that's Scottish. That's similar, close, right? They probably have bagpipes. They had bagpipes. Yeah, come on. Well, everybody, <clears throat> thanks for being here. Ela came in stunting like Ruby Ross from Fifth Element, mm-hmm. and she's so <laughs> tall. She was straight up giving me yeah. big lady stomping. You guys, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. She looks perfect. You guys remember Ruby Ross? Uh, oh wait, that's a real person. Ruby Rose? No, no, no. Ruby, Ruby Ross. Rose I believe it's Ru- Ruby Rod is the character's oh. name, I believe. Oh, Ruby Rose, I feel like it's somebody else. Yeah, yeah that's Ruby a real Rose person. Ruby Rose is in Orange is the New Black. Okay. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby Rose. No. No. That's what it says here. <laughs> oh, does it? Oh, it's Ruby Rod. No, it is Ruby Rod. Mm-hmm. This is you right now. This is you. This is you. <laughs> That's literally you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With the flowers. I do love that one. So wait, stand up. Let's see it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> She's got three inch high heels on. <laughs> yes. Let's go. That's awesome. Is that a vintage dress? What's the story with it? Honestly, this one I actually don't know, but uh, we went to this place that has a bunch of vintage designer stuff, but it's also mixed in with just random things, and I rented it for today. And it's going to be part of my new vlog. Okay. <laughs> Ela vlog's coming out on, <laughs> yeah. on the Ethan, uh, Ethan and Ela channel. Yeah. Nice. So I've been recording all week with Lena, Lena behind the camera. What what did you guys do? It's just a day in the um, life. Um yeah, kind of. We went to a week in the life. Yeah, we went to look for this what I'm gonna wear today, and then we did a day in the office, and yeah. Oh my god! A real vlog. Oh my Sight gosh! Me. Yep. Well, that's exciting. How do yeah. these gloves stay on? I always wondered, like, do these come right off? Yeah. So they don't they don't like droop at all on your arm? A little bit. I do keep fixing it. You know it. what I mean? I thought, I, mean, I thought maybe there was some like women witchcraft. That you know, I, don't know about. Um, I could have done that, but it was all very last minute. So What's the witchcraft? There's like a like tape. Sticky shit? Yeah, there's a yeah. sticky tape I could do here. But yeah. who's got the time? <laughs> I just had a really obscene joke, but I'm not going to say it. Nice. I'm proud of you. Not on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> not on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Being good today. For our, for our neighbors. I in noticed the South. that though lately. You were like, you actually developed the option in your brain to stop it. Um, like, you're like. <clears throat> well, there's been a lot of button action. That's it. Which I is mean, really it funny. I mean, a couple of times over the week. <laughs> you had our earliest button uh, yet, uh, about, I believe it was about 90 seconds into the show. Wait, what? When did that happen? It was like on Monday or something. I don't, I don't I remember I what it was, that. but you I mean, know, we something. Say what it was anyway. <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> it's causing that perception though, and I believe, uh, mm-hmm. I believe that's nice. That's good. No, I definitely saw you say a couple of times <clears throat> like, "I have a joke, but I'm not gonna say it," and you didn't. <clears throat> yeah, but the times that I do say it, you <laughs> just see the. And that's good. You know, it's a du- it's a war on two fronts. Preferably not. To I think you're to growing up. Ela, what the speak. fuck is this, dude? What is this? This is you being all tall and me being a tiny little <laughs> fucking Jew Israeli clown towards of uh Jordan Peterson. Okay. He's this crazy Israeli clown comedian. What is this paparazzi shot? I'm telling you, based on this photo, we are getting divorced. 
<laughs> That's what Frisch and Frit are gonna be like, yo, tell me this couple about <laughs> to get divorced. Yeah. Coconuts and Barbados. Oh, no, no, no. Coconuts say you're divorced. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. He was so proud of that Did one. Did you see that? Did we watch that together? We have not. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> today we've got uh, a fun show planned. We have a, an accent coach. Uh, you guys decided to intervene. <laughs> <clears throat> Apparently, y'all got a problem with my accents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the one accent. Y'all really gonna... Bring an accent coach in here and teach me a good old God blessed American I how to do an like, accent. I kind of feel like the next step maybe after today would be to actually send you through America <laughs> to learn method acting. Yeah, that's really You know, get to know the people the and really learn that. Just get in the method. Do you want me to get in the method? So you mean like, I got a shotgun over my <laughs> shoulder here. I seen a man on the far side of my yeah. lake. I'm shooting to kill. Now you'll actually Maybe you be need able to be on that, that lake and really understand. Yeah. Yeah. We saw a video yesterday of uh, this dude was just fishing in a pond. And a dude uh, on the <laughs> other side of the pond just came out and started shooting. <laughs> that's America. So that's it. That's the method acting. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got the coach coming in. We've got uh, all kinds of fun things. Uh, yeah. Um, Chocolate mocha, you know. Color the Met Gala yeah, happened this week. Yeah, I kind of went over that on the yeah. member stream. Sorry to oh, the you. member stream, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we could do it here, I mean. Honestly, I don't have much to say. I was kind of disappointed overall. Really? Because everybody was hyping me up for this one. Um maybe not everybody but some people were saying oh this one's gonna be cool because there's so much to pull from there's like Carl Lagerfeld years of history and it's gonna be a fun one to play with and I was like when people started showing up I was like this looks like an just like a family wedding where you're kind of regular and that was just kinda, like show up yeah. with a boring dress yeah you know? elf fashion morons idiots I yeah. would have looked way better um <laughs> I did love Rihanna She's Riri. the one true queen. There was some really good fits. There I, were a few good ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't mean to um, take it away from the cool people. Mm -hmm. There were some good ones. Mm -hmm. But I just, I guess I just don't feel like I have much to say. Oh, you know who like, was really good? Was um, Jenny. She looked fuck stunning. Who? What's that? She's from Blackpink, right? Can you show it? Jenny from Blackpink. She yes. is stunning. In the little it. dress, right? <clears throat> that was mm -hmm. such a cute outfit. I actually think that was a cute outfit. I think you're joking. Yeah, I'm, I what do you mean? Like I, I specifically brought it up. I said, Jenny is stunning. And tell everybody I said that. Jenny from Blackpink. Yeah. The little white strap was... Here, here's what she so looked cute. like. Absolutely stunting, stunning, legendary look. Who has more style and grace than Jenny from Blackpink? <laughs> <clears throat> Nobody. Uh, listen... She is cool. Yep. Hey, Ga uh, hey, uh, Gabe. What's going on? <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you celebrating Cinco de Mayo, Gabe? I see lots of alcohol behind you. Taking <laughs> some tequila shots and shit. Fuck. Ooh, <laughs> shit. Fuck, fuck baby. Fuck hey, can you tell me what is Cinco de Mayo? What do we celebrate on this day? I think it's Mexican Independence Day, a celebration for. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, da Shout out to all the Mexicans out there. I think, uh, I'm getting notes uh, that that is not correct. Nope. Sorry, Gabe. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm seeing victory over the French army, uh, some sort of thing like that. <laughs> that is correct. And But that wasn't independence? What were they fighting for? Well, it's just one battle in a war uh, against the French Empire. They get a whole day for one battle? It was a significant turning point in the war. W. Okay. Who am I to say? So, so I actually put a whole little write up for you about what Cinco de Mayo is in the doc, knowing that you probably know that. <laughs> I already know all this, Dan. I didn't need you to do that. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo is a yearly celebration held on May 5th of Mexico's victory over the Second French Empire. Are you taking notes, Gabe? <laughs> oh, the French Empire. Yeah. I thought the victory for drinking, drinking, yeah, yeah. partying. Well, yeah, lots to shit. celebrate. Goddamn French. They, they, <laughs> They fucked up every war they fought in. Mm-hmm. Except when they helped us in the Revolutionary War. They did fine That there. was all us. 
Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, More popular in the United States than Mexico, they say. Cinco de Mayo has been become associated with the celebration of Mexican American culture. The celebrations began in California, where they have been observed annually. Oh, so this is um, mm-hmm. this is kind of a local celebration here in SoCal, the Cinco de Mayo. Okay. What That's a fan- fun. what a fantastic phenomenon. And Gabe, you look like uh, you're just. Really? I'm just buzz right now, bitches. Woo! <laughs> shots of tequila. How deep in are you, Gabe? Woo. How many shots deep are you? Woo. Maybe I can't say five, six, something what? like that. You're doing. You're feeling good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you're feeling Feel nice good, and toasty, baby. huh? Woo. Woo. <laughs> I just say it's the long weekend, Friday, Friday. It's the long weekend. This a new song? He, yeah, he, he brings some new beats usually on Fridays mm-hmm. and, and surprising us. What you? Uh, it's also Cinco de Mayo beaches. Yeah. Fuck baby, Let's fuck yeah, on, baby. Cinco, What does Cinco de Mayo yeah. mean, Gabe? Do you know what that means in Eng- if you were to translate it to English? It's fifth of May. This guy, mm-hmm. he knows it all. He's Gabe. a genius. Cinco is five. Us, 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 and Maya is May. Which is mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. Woo! Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys Friday. having a party over there? What's popping over? Uh, <laughs> you, is it just you? Probably or have, some, probably have some people over having more drinks. Yeah. Take some tequila shots and go wild, bitches. Bitches <laughs> and Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can we do a poll? Is this music racist or what? Uh, sure. Let's do a poll. Yeah, let's do a poll. I mean, you know, I just try to be very polite, yeah, very, <laughs> very thoughtful, you know? Mm-hmm. Let the people decide. Yeah. Can we? Can Ethan listen to mariachi music? Was that mariachi music? Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. Do I have some? All right, well, listen, Gabe. I'm glad is this music racist. Okay. 20% said yes, so I'm not alone. Okay. <laughs> 20 oh, okay. is too much, right? 21%. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Yeah. You want this to be like a 95-5 kind of That's what scenario. I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Mm-hmm. If it's racist, don't do it. I want, yeah. I want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Don't get exactly. in trouble. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right. Um, <laughs> Gabe, listen, you have fun out there. You have a blessed, a beautiful Cinco de Mayo. Fuck the French army L losers idiots. Why are we okay with that though? Fuck the French. Yeah. Fuck them though. Well, we're celebrating <laughs> the defeat of the French you. army. And okay. to be fair, it's not racist because everybody hates the French. Okay, <laughs> Do we? Okay. Yeah. Oi. <laughs> yeah, that's a given. Oh <laughs> see We'll see what you have to say on Bastille Day. Oh Bastille yeah. Day, that's true. <laughs> Fuck the English on Bastille Day. <laughs> well, no. I'll figure out who I like. You, that. You'll, okay. you'll figure it out. All right, Gabe. You wow. You look. You look kind of laid out there, bud. <laughs> I'm just relaxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. You look relaxed. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All oh right, bud. God. You have a great day. You you get some rays. Drink some Coronas. Do whatever it is you got to do. Okay. We drank beer. Fuck, baby. fuck yeah. Fuck. Fuck, baby. Who the fuck is Uncle Gabe? 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 Bitches. Bitches. Motherfucker. Hey, take take some boogers and finger my butthole with them. Baby. Woo. Woo. Take shit out of the toilet and put it in your mouth. Um, <laughs> Whoa! I was just gonna say that Gabe hasn't been so much into that kind of stuff, but he just said it. So. Oh no, we're bringing it back. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bottle of tequila and shove it up my ass, and then put me do a, ha- a handstand and puke it out of my mouth, bitch. Shut the piss out of my eye and shut it in my ears. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> Soak some tortilla and tequila and shove it up my asshole, bitch. Turn me into a taco, baby. Just some tortilla. Get it out of my butt and put it in my eye, bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Gabe. Hey, Gabe. Shh. 
shave off my turds like El Pastor, baby. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yes. Whoa. Hey, too happy Cinco de Mayo. That was too far. Happy Cinco de Mayo. All right, Gabe, have a great day. I can tell you're going to have a good one, okay? Oh, yeah. Be Woo. good. Woo. Fuck, baby. Okay. Fuck, yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, you can't sleep. That's not fair. <laughs> so, I think the serious game is, is it might almost made me laugh. All right, Gabe, you're good. Thank you, bro. Love you. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Yeah, have a good one. All right. Bye. Bitches. Oh, baby. Bitches. Uh, that's White Claw Gabe, everybody. Sure is. So, no moss on the music? Is that the. Uh... No, I'm kidding. I don't. Okay. Know. I just, you know, don't I'm just get being the... sensitive. I'm just, you know, no, no, no. I just trying to get the festivities. I'm just trying to be, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. trying to be sensitive to our, you know, to our neighbors. Ay, 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 ay. Is that racist? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. I think it's only racist because that was that was so bad. When Zach laughs so hard, do you get worried? I, 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 I you fucking point. better, dude. I, I see your the canary in the coal mine. I see uh, right. All right, now play the music and let me test drive that. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, 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 don't. No, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is salsa. This is Mexican. This isn't salsa. This is more mariachi. Oh, God. This is Spanish. No, it's not so salsa. Are you talking about the dancing specifically? The this is no, mariachi those, music. That's Spanish, right? That's He's something else completely. Dancing. Yeah. Tango, right? I don't know. <laughs> you got a better one, Dan? You make fun of my mariachi scream? I do, but I don't know if it's appropriate. Do it, bro. Drop it. No. The time isn't right. Uh, come on. I got to feel it out. I got to feel right, it out. All right. Dan, you owe us a mariachi scream. All right. And um, I'll tell you what else, Dan. You should be scared as fuck because I'm weighing in at 2.15. Uh, Woo! Uh, that's, that's great news. You should be scared because... I'm going to have to put mayonnaise on my head when you mm -hmm. break 200. I'm well aware, and I encourage it. I welcome Man. it even. should mayo up that dome. There it is. That was you like know, two years ago. Longtime fans will know I've been trying to get below 200 yeah, pounds for was, what, two or three years? I was just going to say, do people even know about the, the lore? It's been a long time. 200. <laughs> <laughs> but in truth, um, Dan, who hates mayonnaise, uh, has promised <laughs> to so lather his head and man, mm -hmm. in honor of me mm -hmm. descending the 200. That is correct. That is like correct. Mayonnaise. And then is it possible to. Because it's kind of flat, just as a concept. Maybe what we can do is do like egg salad, and then we can make sandwiches off your head or something. Why are you Why are you changing the deal? <laughs> I'm just trying to make it more. We've had a contract for years. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it more entertaining. There's oh, it's so much, entertaining. It's been you built up for years. Mayo up yeah. that dome. You're gonna try fine, and uh, okay, fine, dome. fine, fine. Here, egg salad up that dome. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. All right. <laughs> so we'll we'll have a bowl of eggs. And you know, pickles. There's no pull. There's Hold no. on, Dan. Hear me out. I'll and then, you out. while your head is lathered up in mayo, we'll take the, we'll scoop the mayo off his head, mm -hmm. and then put it in the bowl. Make egg salad, and then you have to eat the egg salad. <laughs> no. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> I'll take a bite of that sandwich. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it with you, Dan. Dan, you don't want me to lose weight? <laughs> you want me fat? What? You're the one that's going back on our deal. What I'm if trying we to recreate like a menchie, deal. like an ice cream place, and then we each get to pick what we want to put on his head as he goes down the line. Yeah, that'd be nice. So wait, AB, say, say what? Like an ice cream place where we all pick out a different topping to put on his head as he goes down the line. <laughs> oh but like all mayonnaise based? It'd be mayonnaise. I was the, and then like ice cream toppings, like sprinkles and stuff. I think it should all be uh, mayonnaise based because last time we put whipped cream on his head, he wasn't really bothered by that. Dan, get True. that mayo. Mm. So I'm talking tuna salad, egg oh, yeah, well. salad. Mm-hmm. Uh, potato salad, mm -hmm. right? Any other mayonnaise? Uh, chicken salad. Chicken salad. Oh yeah. That's no, chicken no salad. chicken salad. Joey salad. Joey salad. <laughs> Pasta salad. salad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Macaroni salad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think you're just trying to force my hand so that you don't have to commit. That's to a the good point. Loss. 
Bro, I'm you know I want to I'm read it, this, and it's like, oh, well, Dan won't even do it, so I guess I don't have to lose the weight. No, 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 no. The, <laughs> that dome. Listen, I make an egg salad on your fucking head, bro. Or you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that would be wrongful termination. I oh, yeah, I wonder. I, do, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> Yo, dude, he wouldn't let me put an egg salad on his head. What the fuck are you I talking mean, about? I mean, Steven Crowder's worse. He whips out his dick. So, I mean, this, this yeah, is yeah, is that neck? Yeah. What are you going to do? It'd if be I, worse. If I hit 190, I'm going to teabag you. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, uh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> that doesn't work. Dan doesn't goes, work either. <laughs> Dan goes, that doesn't work either. That doesn't work either. <laughs> Have you given us your best one yet? This was my first attempt. Go ahead. That doesn't work either. Can I hear it? Uh, that doesn't work either. That doesn't work either. That was pretty good. It doesn't work either. That doesn't work either. Zach has my favorite one. Go ahead, Zach. <laughs> no, that doesn't work either. <laughs> you hit it like rock and roll, kind of. Like. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the cigarette. You know? I like that. <laughs> um. So where were we? We were talking about. Uh, we have things to talk about. Did you um? Did you know about Crowder putting his balls on people at work? Did you read about that? <laughs> no. Gila's been kind of catching up on the Crowder stuff, but mm -hmm. a new article came out in the New York Post, which is a conservative publication, so that is interesting. They interviewed mm. 10 ex-employees. Okay. Six of them recall seeing him ta exposing himself to people, including putting his dick and balls on employees while they slept. No way. <laughs> That's what they say. No way. Yes, six employees <laughs> all testified for that, including one. In what context does a person do that? In the context of a really fun, inviting work environment. The epic prank. Crowder, are you? Crowder epic dot prank. LLC or whatever. You are shitting nope right now <laughs> no, that's fuck, that's uh, no, straight up that's real and then one of the guys no. what? who was gay who he called not what do you call him not not gay, gay jared not gay jared lovely that he targeted him with one of these pranks when he was sleeping and put his dick and balls on him are you serious i am dead i'm serious as a as a uh chest uh concave uh surgery <laughs> <laughs> that was some serious shit that is some serious. It thing. is. It's that's like just a crime. That's like, I mean, does, do you go to jail? Like what? <laughs> I feel that they could press charges if they press charges. That's I don't insane. Think going to. For some reason, the ten employees were like, "We don't want anything bad to happen to Steven. We just want people to know what they're getting themselves into." I was like, "The fuck?" <laughs> Here's Dan getting um, that's even more sus. Getting uh, frosting on his dog. Why does this look so real? This is real. real. We're oh. putting frost. Oh, the frosting. <laughs> oh, the but frosting. look how happy. He doesn't care. You got to update him. <laughs> you know? No, yeah, he's going to care when it's mayonnaise. Mm. Yeah, exactly. That I thought the, the mayo was already like the crazy thing to do and you're trying to up the ante. I don't, I don't okay, care. well, it doesn't matter to you if I scoop it up your head and make egg salad with it. I mean, whatever, How does that affect whatever, you? whatever you do with the mayo afterwards is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Anything? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're paying for it. You can do whatever you want with that mayo. Your dollar. I'm about to do some gamer bath okay. water with that mayo, boy. Ugh. What? Mm-hmm. Start auctioning what, those gonna, off. You can sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Zach, <laughs> Zach did do a mayo bath. He sure yeah. did. Yeah. Fuckers at craft. Oh <sighs> uh, yeah. Mad about that. So anyway, <laughs> um, we have a drop. We are actually going to do a little fashion show for everybody today. You know, we always have fun when we do that. The new collection, My Fawn Way, came out. And let's get the, let's get the music going. Oh, Jesus, A.B. Uh, you know what? A.B. looks stunning. Mm -hmm. You want to go first, A.B.? This is all on the website now at teddyfresh.com. Oh, here it is. All right. Go ahead, Ela. Now, okay, enter stage A B. All the, right, the hunk, the beauty, the yeah, boxer. There he is, and the marble, black and white. Hit him with it. Sweat. That's a squat. Um, crew neck. We got the neon logo, rubber. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I the saw those. Not part of the collection. Up, Dan. Up. I saw those. You look great though, A.B. Stunning. Yeah, we felt like with this collection, we wanted to do neon colors for the logo. So we did the new version of the rubber patch. 
and you can see it on the hat too. Give him a the blue boonie steel. hat. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay, settle nice. down. Settle okay. Down. Yeah, All right. yeah, okay, okay. Thank you, AB. Looking fantastic. That's the marble uh, one. Mm -hmm. Of course, Zach, we had to put the camp shirt on him because he's the man. Yeah. He's cool. He's hip. He's he rocks. Camp, camp shirt kink. And that V, he knows how to do that V down. I, don't, I saw you. I can see your nipple, bro, from the side. <laughs> Having a nip slip there, my friend. So okay. for this one, we took all. Oh. Okay, not part of the collection, guys. Let's focus. For this one, we took all the different artworks that she created for us and um, just did like a print mash clash of a that artwork. Is channeling shirt. the chi of the earth, wind and fire. <laughs> Think yeah. Sick. Isn't it amazing when you realize she created it all with the tie dye? Oh well, we posted. It. Actually, it might be nice to show some context of how cool mm. her art is. Thank you, Zach. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Here, here's how she makes it, just as a reference. Okay. So she has these huge yep. pools, and then she paints in them. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, Olivia. Okay. This is a multimedia sweater, right, Ela? Yes, we we mix different textures of yarns, different quality yarns, so that you have a little bit of fuzziness on the sweater itself, but then the bear is extra fuzzy, and then the eyes are kind of like a mix of embroidery and stuff. It's very cute. It's all happening. It's all happening. It's recycled content. It's all Olivia. 100% recycled it's yarn. It's 100% recycled? Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Happy Cinco de Mayo, girl. <laughs> Lena, oh my goodness. Here she is. Uh, with the overalls. You know what? Those the are sold overalls, out, man. I'm so... It, it's so surprising to me. So when we started working on these... It was in a different fabric, the first fabric we didn't love, so we were kind of unsure how this overall would turn out. So we did small quantities. Yeah. And then during the development time, we figured it out. We got it in the cool, nice fabric, and it turned out so cool. And now there's only a very limited amount of them. I out wonder there. if we could. So restart. it's sold out already. We can restart. Them. I don't know, but, <laughs> but Lina, it looks so good on you, Lena. Stunning, stunting. Mm hmm Okay, show mm -hmm. her shoes. <laughs> yeah, they're just, I mean, uh, yeah, Converse. Uh, happy Cinco de Mayo, uh, Lena. <laughs> happy Cinco de Mayo. Cam, oh my God, the oh snake. Oh my God, there's design. a snake on you. Watch oh. out. Oh, ah, oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Does it bite? Oh, who knows? <laughs> That's Cam. Everybody loves Cam. Yes. Yes, they do. Cam's a and... uh, heartthrob uh, in his own right. I don't think it's right to give that fully to AB because I do see lots of thirsting for Cameron lately. Oh, yeah. I see that, too. Mm -hmm. And this shirt is um, light and breezy and soft. It is oversized, and it is recycled as well. The only thing cooler is if you put a pack of cigarettes in your sleeve. Nope. That would not be cool. Bring it out. We got to get We got to do it. would not be cool. Look we how, hate cigarettes. You, Look how cool he is. We Cam, you got any Yuck. Cinco Yuck. de Mayo plans? Gross, gross. Undateable. Yuck. Blah. Oh. Oh, do you know how to roll it? <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're supposed to roll it in your sleep. That's like a old, that's like a greaser kind of old school thing. <laughs> Something. Wow. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I tried, I tried. <laughs> Cam, yeah, we tried. Thank you, Cam. Stunning. Okay, here's Dan. With this beautiful, okay. marbled, colorful crew neck, Ela. Honestly, ahead. the colors are so colorful in person. I feel like the camera can't even capture it properly. Um, it's that's the second colorway she created. We kind of gave her like colors in mind that we wanted to see, and then she went and created this beautiful masterpiece. Um, yeah. Dan, like Leonardo da Vinci's mm -hmm. sketch of a man. Mm -hmm. He is man. He is human. He is everything and more. Put both hands out since you're doing a pose. Put both hands out. Do like this. No, I want to, okay. Now, now put your left hand down. <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like from that angle. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Looking fantastic. I guess it's, is that, is that me? Okay. Oh, Ian. Oh. Ethan is on his way. 
surely taking his time. You know, you're not on camera yet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> he was walking like that. All right, this is the mushroom artwork. I feel like this marble colorway is so Ethan, by the way, and I love it in a perfect way. Ethan's, perf uh, Ethan's oh, favorite no. color is purple. And so <laughs> to me, this black, brown, purple and gray marble is like, I see Ethan in that and I love it. Um, yeah, it's the same, same content, recycled, breezy, light, soft. And that's it, it's tired. <laughs> and show the shoes, show the shoes that are falling apart. I have people at home asking me, what is Ethan gonna do? His shoes are falling apart. Do you wanna buy him new shoes? And I'm like, I don't know, he's a grown person. <laughs> oh, then Ian, I think. Oh, okay. You Ethan. can do it, Ela. We should show off your outfit. I feel like puking. I don't know what happened. I ate, I could took a couple of bites of Ela's burrito. Oh my god, you look amazing. Oh my god, look at her. We needed that full body. We needed oh. it. Uh oh, camera froze. You know why? Because Ela was so hot. Yeah, those protons were coming way they too were. hot. You burned the sensor up, Ela. Chill. Yay. Okay, girl. Damn. Did you get a good shot? Okay, she's out. Wow. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh no. That burrito did not, did not. We ate it in like two <laughs> seconds. That was not a good idea. You have brought this burrito. I think it, there was like real spicy salsa. I don't know. I think I might die right now. Usually you love that. No, I know. Oh. Just some, something's wrong. You want me to uh, give my uh, pregnancy update while you're recovering? <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, take the heat off me. <laughs> well, okay. So today I was supposed to be able to do the blood test. We gotta bring back the light. Oh, I'm back already. So the, what's the theory AD? there, Dan? Dan said hit the button. Because I replugged in our connection and it would have mm. glitched out and frozen on the screen. Basically, we used it as an actual technical difficulties card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now all these audio issues we're assuming AB? is uh, derived from the button. But is that right, Dan? Uh, it's. It, I actually have identified what's going on and it has more to do with the switching computer um, mm. i have to get a new card for it which is going to take a while to get so we're just making do in the meantime okay all right dan he always making it work um I gotta take this off to type um so so is everything okay, working so let me, it looks like it is better now yeah go ahead let me talk again about i don't know where it was left off uh, you had just um, said that you're supposed to get tested today. Oh, so, yeah. So they basically I have to wait until Monday now, which really sucks. I haven't been sleeping all week, and I think this is why. Mm. Okay, Dan is saying he still thinks something's not right. You know, um... It's not as bad now, but... You know, um... We can definitely hear you. I'm going through... But I'll sleep for like two hours max, wake up, like I cannot sleep for more than two hours at a time and I have to force myself to go to mm -hmm. sleep and I just feel like shit all day, every day. So I don't know if you've talked about it, but because the because Bruce wakes up so much, I end up taking him with me to bed and then when Ethan goes to sleep late, he would totally, um, Bruce will totally wake up. And so we ended up started, we started sleeping in different rooms now and I sleep with Bruce. And then Teddy sometimes comes too. But, Teddy comes to my room most nights. Um, the, this whole week, I don't know, I've been waking up and then I can't go back to sleep. 
and I'll have like the same thoughts drive me crazy when yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to tell myself like, just go to sleep. Shut what are you up. thinking about? It can be work. It can be whatever I'm doing the next day. Mm. It's just like, I can't stop can't thinking escape. the same stuff. I hate that. I hate it. And I can't go to sleep. Um, and then I don't know. I started to think that maybe it's just because I'm nervous to find out the results. There's a lot happening. Probably. The baby thing. Also, you're yeah. like, you have so much hormones pumping. And the here. hormones. Yeah. I still take hormones twice a day. And I think that's driving me crazy. Everybody's screaming divorce in chat. Coconut <laughs> and divorce. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're going to love it. We sleep in separate rooms. Oh, well, go it, wild. It's, oh, it's been like, again. go wild with that. We, we don't sleep in separate rooms. It's literally just it's been literally, like a couple of weeks because of the kids were yeah. not letting us sleep. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Coconut say you're divorced. We happen to have a spare guest room. I mean, we had a friend who used to sleep on the floor or some shit because, you know, they, they had two girls uh, and he slept on the floor of her room. Mm -hmm. So if you have kids, yeah. you know you got to do whatever it takes. Parents know. You okay. just gotta do whatever it will take to get those kids to sleep. Um, so... Well, it depends, because if I sleep in the bed, it, so it seems like a good idea. The problem is I come to bed later, so when, when Bruce is in there, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how quiet I am, I swear to God. No, when I yeah. come in, he wakes up, and he's like, up, And he up. thinks it's like playtime. He, he's ready to play with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. It's super cute. He, but but he'll like stand up and start playing and stuff. He looks at me and then he's got this big ass smile <laughs> and he's like, oh, daddy's here. Let's play. And uh, and then he sees Shredder because usually the dogs come with Ethan. Then he sees the dogs. He starts wanting to climb to, to their side and it becomes a whole mess. It's cute and it's fun for like 20 minutes, but he won't go to sleep for like an hour or two. Mm -hmm. And then I give him like a pill bottle and he that's his favorite toy he'll take the pill bottle and he starts shaking it he thinks it's so awesome no oh, yeah yeah no so i have to wait until monday and i am going crazy i find it annoying that they told you you'll find out on friday i know and then they said wait till monday why'd they tell you friday and the doctors i messaged the doctor and i was like hey the nurses said i it's too soon should I, do you think I can do it Friday? And she said, yes. Mm -hmm. then, then we told the nurses and they said again, no, no yeah, yeah, yeah. don't do it Friday. It's too soon. But the doctor said, yes? yeah. So what the hell? Why are you listening to the nurses? Because I actually looked online and it says the same thing. It says that seven days is too soon. And so also you were feeling like. Yeah. You were last night. Your, yeah. I was starting. Out. Yeah. Yeah. I was starting to have a back pain last night. Like the way I would get before I get my period. And so I'm like, oh no, did it not work out? Am I about to get my period? Um, I don't know. So I feel like there's so much on the line because if this doesn't happen, would you want to go <laughs> for a boy? Yeah, that's fun. It's I don't fun. think if, so. If it doesn't work, then it's a third then, boy. That's the but would option. you? Do you feel the need for to go for it then? I don't. I know. mean, at this point, I feel like we might as well. You think so? Yeah. Mm. I mean. We have to stunt on all these alpha males. We have to keep <laughs> pro uh, procreating. Because, like, you know, I guarantee you we're going to we come all this way. Yeah, I know. And now we have all these bomb-ass triple a quadruple A4 eggs, <laughs> which, if you guys don't know, is like the Kobe beef of uh, embryos. <laughs> yeah. We got those AAs. And then once that third boy's born, though, then we're going to be like, it's cr in like 5, 10 or whatever, 18 years or 20 years. We'll be like, yeah. it's crazy to think that we, we almost didn't have you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I think we're going to have a third no matter what. Okay. That's actually making me less stressed for, because for some reason I thought we would decide if it's not a girl, we're done. I think it's God's plan. If it's not a girl, then it's a boy. Well, the funny thing is that it's, it's totally not. It's very sciencey. We get to choose. God's plan. God's plan. We get to choose what we want to do. Uh, what I mean is, if it doesn't work out with the girl, uh, you know. Well, I, I, I mean, like, I thought maybe you would think, well, then we don't need Why is the viewers going down? Is something up with the stream? It's like down, 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 down. I don't. Is that is 35 it? and it keeps going down, down? It's not a girl. You see that? <laughs> Why do you even have that, Zach? That wasn't me. I think that was Ethan. Uh, that, uh, the sound that was me. Oh, <laughs> it's just yeah, he keeps going down. I don't know if it's a bug. <laughs> that was a maybe sound bite. Some, maybe something to do with the refresh. A lot of people refreshed whenever we uh, had audio issues. Mm. I've never really seen it like that maybe before. They're just bored. They're bored. 
I don't know. I've never seen that. Um. So I was gonna say is while I under while I will all be bummed that the girl didn't work out. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that sometimes life uh, has other plans, mm -hmm. and so with well, the third boy is um, will be the way that we uh, ride it all the way to Valhalla, baby. We're gonna have three boys tearing up our fucking house. It is gonna be like a goddamn post nuclear wasteland in our house. Yes, basically. I mean, it pretty much already is. I Holy gotta ask. Yeah. Doesn't am I crazy or doesn't it spawn new eggs? Doesn't they spawn like more? So maybe there will be a new girl spawn soon. A spawn? Are, like Did you think that <laughs> do you think that this is like a modern warfare? What happened? Yeah, something like that. It's like uh, you would just wait a little bit and it's going to spawn a new egg. I think <laughs> oh. so, but I've gone through this whole process <laughs> that was like terrible, expensive, painful, the whole thing. Mm, and now yeah. I they retrieved the eggs. So now I have Frozen, mm, and I it's see. it's six boys and the one girl. Um, I guess I could technically maybe start from the beginning, but that would be right. like torture. It's it's right. a it's real, torture basically. Yeah. It was really a lot of effort. It's like I think it was two months just to get to the point of retrieving the eggs of like of shooting ultrasounds up, every week yeah, and it's, hormones. It's crazy. Seeing the doctor and it's and crazy stuff. because we got eight or seven or eight high quality eggs which seven. is a lot that's a lot most people get like a couple and they're all fucking boys <laughs> we'll see though i'm still feeling good i'm still feeling good mm -hmm. i think it's gonna stick so but you know i'm happy either way that's that's my yeah attitude. i know i just um i think i need to be done with these hormones <laughs> driving me crazy so there it is all right, an update there. Thank you. What time's the accent coach calling in? They're they're standing by. We mm -hmm. gotta do our ad, and then we gotta go. Do okay, so seconds. let me cool. thank our one sponsor today, Native. Man, I love me this product, Native. As a brand, it doesn't get nicer. Mm. It doesn't smell better. It doesn't get more natural than Native. I love that. In fact, this uh, sunscreen SPF thirty is uh, coconut and Barbados. No, <laughs> coconut and pineapple. Coconuts and divorce flavor. <laughs> Smells good. Not a flavor. You don't eat it. It's more of a scent. All different flavors. You know what? And it's starting to get sunny, and I find myself soaking up rays. I do in the mm -hmm. backyard. You got to get in those that sunlight when you need it. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you can get it. Mm -hmm. You know, not getting enough sunlight is... Uh, Causes a lot of health problems for a lot of people in the world. Mm -hmm. So you got to get out there and get those rays, man. And I'll tell you what, the sun's a fucking bitch. Part of my language. But why is it that the sun... It, it's like, it's killing us. Like you're in the sun for five minutes and you get cancer. I swear to God, dude. If you're in the sun without sunscreen for five minutes, your skin looks like a goddamn football by the time you turn, you know, 50. <laughs> You got to put on sunscreen. More and more we're realizing that as a civilization, as people of this earth. So that's why you need to get this native sunscreen. Mm -hmm. uh, Natives quickly absorbing ultra sheer hydrating and lightweight sunscreen formula offers broad spectrum SPF 30 protection and UVA and UVB rays. That's a lot of rays. Is this one for the face or body or? It's it's for anyone, and one. it's like moisturizing too. See? All different flavors. This is when I drive, my hands are like always in the sun, mm -hmm. so I always put on sunscreen. I always put, I keep this in my car and put it on my, oh, on my hands and wrists. Look at you. Yeah, because it's like it's actually just sitting in the sun for an hour a day when I'm driving. Yeah. That that's enough time to damage your skin big time, you know. I'm a huge sunscreen guy. I don't I don't mess around, you know. When we were at the uh, Renaissance Fair, those kit, the boys of ours, I was like, sunscreen. Yeah. I don't care how much you're complaining. <laughs> Going everywhere. Yeah. You know, that's love. They All native, hate it. They hate it. Of course they do. Mm -hmm. All native sunscreen is made with a 20% active zinc oxide formula that is dermatologist tested and suitable for sensitive skin. All native sunscreen is made with oils derived from plants uh, that seal in skin moisture and is vegan and cruelty free. Vegan. Thank you. Cool. You cannot eat it. 
I just want to make that clear. Why would you want to? Well, it does. It smells great. <laughs> and it's vegan. It's vegan and cruelty free. Choose from one of Native's three delicious but subtle scents like coconut and Barbados. Sorry, I can't help it. Coconut and pineapple. This this one. Rosé or oh, sweet oh, oh. peach and nectar for your face and body. Or try, they have an unscented option for our uh, unscented kings and queens. Mm -hmm. Sensitive? Mm -hmm. Allergies? Yep. Unscented. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. With all native sunscreens, you get protection from the sun that is free of chemical actives like oxybenzone, uh, ox, ox, octicazone, octinote, 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 what? <laughs> everybody knows what that that everybody knows octinoxate right here it doesn't have that there is no oxybenzone or oxytinoxate or <laughs> avobenzone right which makes native uh sunscreen compliant with the hawaii act 104 which was passed in an effort to protect hawaii's reefs oh somebody was just asking about that in the yes chat. this is reef friendly sunscreen okay it's all happening at Native. Give your skin the protection it deserves with Native's mineral sunscreen. Go to nativedeo.com slash after dark or use the promo code after dark at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash after dark or use the promo code after dark at checkout. nativedeo.com slash after dark or use the promo code after dark. Thank you so much to Native. We love you. Please consider supporting our wonderful sponsor. <sighs> All right, so um, I feel like shit today, man. I don't know. I feel like weird. You know, maybe it's just Cinco de Mayo. Something in the air about it. Come on, Dan. Let's <laughs> hear it. Yee yee yee. Not the right time. No. Not right. Hey. It's just not right. All right, so we have an accent. You guys know that I struggle with my accents. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel that I've got my southern accent down, let's be real. But not everybody in the world is southern. <laughs> and that's how I portray them, because I have no other, you know. I got no other tricks in the back. Here's a meme from the subreddit, for example. Uh, every, here's the, <laughs> as you can see, every state is yep. southern. Uh, California is normal. <laughs> I see that New York has Godfather impressions, so there's nothing <laughs> out there. No, but everything right. else is uh, southern, yeah. southern accent. And well, sophisticated. Because we're trying to broaden my horizons here. <laughs> so because of that, we are bringing in a professional accent dialect coach to help train me. Uh, his name is Jack, <laughs> and I'm going to train today the British accent. How did you guys find Jack? Uh, I found him just looking around. Uh, I found an article with uh, interviews with accent coaches in Hollywood. Mm. So he popped up. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Trains actors and stuff on shows. Okay, good. Podcast, good. Podcast those deadbeats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All the flavors. We, we specified a Jack that Ethan could use help on my British, Southern, and Italian. I don't know why you guys mm. put Southern in here, frankly. <laughs> well... <laughs> So let's well, talk. It, it, maybe it is a little more nuanced than that because I think it's the bigger issue is that you think anything up to like North Dakota is a Southern accent, right? Um, and so maybe we can maybe okay, you can help kind of distinguish like Midwest, <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, you know? Yeah, but I'm not no. doing that. I'm not getting into all that Southern grow. Like uh, I can't do it being on all that now. You can. Well, I know you well, can. Let's talk I'll tell you. Especially. I'll tell you what, man. There's two kinds of people in this world. There's Maga. And there's people from California. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, man, I'm bringing out my guns out to the lake. Anybody come here fishing, gonna catch one from me, boy. I tell you what. And then there's people from California like, hey. What's up, you, dude? Do you want to go to the library and study with me? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's bring in Jack. Here's Jack. You guys want to learn a little bit about him? Let's see. Jack, I'm watching Hi. your video. I want to see your promise to me before... Uh, <laughs> Before I uh, introduce you, here's your video. Jack Wallace and I'm a dialect coach here in Hollywood. Okay. Ba -ba 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 so, ja so Jack, how are you? Thank you for calling in. Hi. Hello, hello. I'm doing well. How are both of you today? 
We're doing good. So I hear an English accent. Is that what's happening? That is correct. And Are you that tricking is my... me? Well, how you'll do have I know? To wait and find out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, Jack, hit me with a... I'm really just a spy. Hit me with an American accent. Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, the English lost the war and they're just a bunch of stuck up... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I am actually from England, but I've been in the States for about 10 years now. Well, and so you have a have had a nice career training in dialect to uh, actors and, and the likes? Oh, no, they're selling my... Yeah. Let what, me what just go to the bathroom real quick. Oh. Oh, Ela's hairs are falling out. And um, <laughs> what's your credentials? What's your, what's your background in terms of accents and dialects and all that? Yeah, well... In England, you can do a master's <laughs> in this sort of thing. So I got that um, in professional voice practice. And oh. then I was in Chicago for a while. I was working with theater actors and then made the big move out here to California. And so I've been working on film and TV. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. I'm glad yeah, that uh, really you found your niche there. That's great. So Thank these you. guys, I, I'm doing this against my will. I'll have you know. That's what they were kind of telling me. Um, I, you know, I haven't done too much research on your amazing accents. So I would love to hear in your own words <laughs> how you feel about so your I, own accents. Yeah, you so I, I'll be the first to admit that my, my British accent and my, my Italian accent are a bit wanting. Hmm. But my southern accent, I feel, is completely authentic. And, and just to be clear, uh, your Italian accent is actually just Marlon Brando from The Godfather. It's not really even <laughs> Italian, yes. necessarily. Well, that's, right. is that not authentic? Do I tell so, so, so we're going no. Italian-American rather than Tony, Italian yeah, yeah, from yeah. Italy. Tony, you come to me on this day. Amazing. To Head teach me how to do an accent? You presume <laughs> to tell me on my own show, Tony. His name is Jack. Jack. Ethan, you hear that? He said he loved it. Oh, you love it. So that's yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, that I, means I, no I could just leave right now. I think, I think, I think it's the ready. British, the <laughs> British one, I'll be honest. I got a lot of trouble with that one. Let's see. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> go great. Go great. Yeah. Oi. Uh, can I, do you find the Lizzie in the box thing offensive? I don't want to, you know. <laughs> I mean, there's about to be a new person tomorrow. So, you know. We're, the new kings tomorrow is that what you said yeah the coronation, yeah, the coronation. okay so yeah. she's yeah. yeah good not in a box <laughs> yeah right um so it's like uh oi hey there what what's with <laughs> i got nothing but okay. my southern accent now that's what i like i kind of like that uh good old maga you ever heard of donald trump he's kind of like you know, he got a lot of good ideas about Mexicans and them kind of immigrants. And I tell you what, man, I've been out count on the lake, seen a boy out there with a fishing pole, took a couple shots at him. You know what I'm saying? So that's my uh, southern. And whereabouts would you place that in the south? Oh, this accent? It's kind of just the bra. It's kind of like everybody outside of California. Hmm. Be sounding like this. Great. Um, what about the people inside of California? Oh, they sound like this. All of them. Yeah, yeah, just like this. <laughs> but so, where where do we begin? Let's say, let's let's say, let's start with the British because I feel like I got nothing, and I really want to have a good British accent. Sure. Is there a particular phrase you? Where would you like to use this? Is it like at a restaurant, at the pub? Is it like in? the royal palace like right. what what sort of because there's more than one british accent right i think my favorite is like the peaky blinders one <laughs> yeah like well that's a, that's very specific thing. like regional one but i i think yeah i think i think i know what you're you're looking for because well, well um, what options are there there's like the queen's uh english maybe you can give me some examples and i'll tell you which one i like sure so with everything you can kind of divide it into big groups and then get smaller and smaller and smaller. So we could get very specific and there are kind of hundreds and hundreds to choose from, or we could go kind of broad regions. Um, the first big split is North versus South. Mm -hmm. So it's actually flipped from America in that the predominant accent that you hear around is the Southern accent. Mm. And then you have the Northern accent. I'm not sure if you watched Game of Thrones at all. I did. Yes. But a lot of the Starks had more of a northern accent. Okay. Um, whereas 
the, oh, like, the, the is, female ones had the southern accent. So the northern accent is the less common one. Is it also considered to be white trash, like in America? It's more kind of city versus countryside. Okay, thing. so it's similar. And I say white trash with the love and admiration <laughs> sure in my yeah. heart. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but there, are, I think what you're envisioning in your mind would be something kind of southern, probably London-based, um, and not the, not the palace version. I wouldn't mind having the Queen's English. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of cool too. But so, so give me an idea of like Londoners uh, versus like the Queen's English. Where are we at on that? Yeah, so there's this thing called received pronunciation, RP, mm. for short. Um, and basically, someone decided that they wanted everyone to sound the same, and they made up how people should sound. And that's mm. kind of closer to how the King's or Queen's English, I guess it's King's again now, um, is. So your vowels are very precise. You want to make sure that you're not going too far doing anything that would be unseemly. Mm -hmm. um, it's just very, very, very precise. Whereas as you get more kind of colloquial, then you start to slide into the vowels a bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. So and there's so a bit of relaxation. I'm feeling uh, kind of the Peaky Blinders stuff. Great. Um, what, what phrase might you say if you were? So you let's say in a peaky blinder. like this. The peaky blinder. I'm a fucking peaky blinder. Nobody <laughs> fuck. So you know uh, what's a oi? All the boys down at the track are they collected all the they we doing the tickets down at the track oi? Great. That's yeah. in peaky blinders. They went down to the racetrack right, <laughs> and they they muscled out the old uh, crew. You know. So I just want to get yeah. the character as much as possible. Um, so maybe if we just take the phrase, we're collecting all the tickets okay. down at the track. Okay, maybe? I like that. I like mm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how would you say the first word normally? Just in your own California uh, accent. We're. Weird. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> weird. And so if you <laughs> slow it down, you've got kind of an E followed by that heavy R. Er. Weird. Weird. Well, we don't want that heavy R at the end, and we're just going to replace wow. it with an uh. But wow. we still want the E for the week. We're. We're. We are. We're. We are. We are. We're. We're. Either we're. Either we are. We are. We are. There we go. We are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hey, then what's, the deal? what's the deal with Australians? Yeah. They go, for ER, they go, they do like an A sound. Eh? Ah. They go, ah. what does they always say on below? Down down? under. Down yeah. Under. No. What do they? What do they always say on Below Deck that we laugh at? Oh, oh. Um. <laughs> what is it? Uh. Why am I blanking? What? A, uh, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Think on that. Okay. Okay. We're what? We're where? <laughs> <laughs> so no R at all. Just an uh instead. We're where. Now you can get a little fancy, but you know that, that that's fine. We we can get fancy if we want. Um, I try to remember the the beautiful sentence you created. I think it was like we're going to collect the tickets. We're getting the, the tick. We're we are, we're getting the tickets from the racetrack, brother. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so off to a great start <laughs> <laughs> on this weir. Um, oh. So. There's lots of things you can do with this T in the word getting. If you were just saying it casually in your own accent, it might be like getting with a kind of D-ish mm -hmm. thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. Okay. You can mm -hmm. either put a full T in or you can completely drop it. So you can do getting or you can do getting. Getting. I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. Getting. <laughs> like yeah, that. so getting. we're getting. We're yeah. Getting. Oh, that's it. Those streams always go, yeah. But they raise their voice and it's like yeah. a question. Yeah? Yeah. Or no, yeah. 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 What was it? It's like, er. I can't remember. I can't you remember? <laughs> they go, uh, er, er. God damn it. All right. It'll come to you. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, we so are, we want, we're getting. So full break between in. the get and the ing. We're getting. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, we're getting. We we're are getting. getting. We'll get Very in. good. And remember, no er on the we or mm. just dropping the we're, we're, yeah. No hard R's. We're getting. We're no exactly. hard R's in this building. And that's we're a good getting. policy regardless, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. So yeah, we're getting. We'll get in. Tickets are going to be pretty similar oh, to how you would normally say now. it. Oh yeah, they go now. The people knew in the Thanks chat. Thanks, yeah, yeah, damn, it's driving me crazy. Yeah, because <laughs> whenever we watch, whenever we watch below deck, I just, like instead of saying no, they'll say nar. No. No. Yes, thank you. God damn it. I when I watch below deck, I just sit there the whole time going no, no. I actually think I got it pretty good. No. No. Yeah. You, can you hit me with your best no? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's because the they use the middle of their tongue to do that, whereas in America, we use the back of the tongue to make it er. Uh, so it's kind of just the same action, just a little no. bit forward. So instead of r, uh, it's just a little bit further forward of i. Uh. No. 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 That's not bad at all. No. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> So uh, we're all over the world now. Let's go back to England. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're getting these tickets down at the track. Um, so we're getting, we've, we, we've nailed, we are getting. I feel. Um, tickets is going to be the same. You don't have to do anything with that. Mm. Tickets. I'll miss say it American. Trust me. Tickets. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you were trying to not do it the way you would normally do it. I'm just. <laughs> all right. Here, let's well, see. Let's see. Well, what where where no no r, <laughs> no r. so the, the way to get rid of this r if you make but, some little finger guns mm -hmm. put them in your mouth mm -hmm. okay that Take okay excuse keep... me <laughs> i'm not doing that bad <laughs> and then take them out and keep that space where where we uh, uh where? We, uh, where? We, uh, where we uh where we uh where 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 so, so say where? say for me we're getting tickets just say that for me yeah we're getting tickets. We're getting, we're getting tickets. Mm -hmm. we're Good. Get, we're, we're, we're getting tickets. We're getting tickets. We're getting. We're getting tickets. We're getting tickets. We're getting. Like getting. Getting. We're getting tickets. We're getting tickets. You could do the G or you could not do the G. Getting or getting. getting. We're. we're getting. We're getting yeah. tickets. We're mm -hmm. getting tickets. We're getting tickets. We're getting, getting tickets. tickets. No. We're getting I'm tickets. feeling it. I'm feeling hey, myself. Dan, will you, will you get me a ticket? Yeah. No. What are you doing? <laughs> no. no. We're no. getting tickets. No. Tickets. That's good. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting, we're getting tickets. Not er, er, er. No. Where, where, yeah. where, yeah, that one. Yeah. where. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Ole London. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting, we're getting, getting tickets. Tickets. Yeah. Ole London. Why he said just say it like normal, Dan? He's going tickets. <laughs> tickets. 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 We're getting tickets. Where? Tickets. Tickets. We're get. We're getting tickets. <laughs> Tickets doesn't control. feel right. <laughs> tickets doesn't feel right. Uh, I think you're being quite like forceful with that T. Soften okay. the T. We're getting yeah. tickets. <laughs> <laughs> tickets. 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 Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Tickets. Okay. We're get. We're getting. We're. <laughs> we're getting tickets. Where? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Oh my god. Where? 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 Yeah. where? Getting tickets. I feel like yeah. you're still hitting that arm, man. Where? Yeah. I just don't want to go where? Yeah. My mouth doesn't even Another, way, that one another way to think about that the might be if you put a Y in the middle and do mm. we ya. Uh, we ya. Uh, okay. Of, oh. We ya. Uh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Uh -huh. We ya. Uh, we are getting. If tickets. you could just write it out phonetically, I feel like I could do it. <laughs> yeah, that one's got like some shake sure. on it. We are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are getting getting tickets. tickets. What's the difference between that and where? Oh, where? Uh, the the where versus we are. No, like um, reading we are. is a different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan wrote it out phonetically. We are getting. We are getting. We are getting tickets. <laughs> Yeah, and if you change the T to like an apostrophe instead. Getting. Kind of getting. Oh, yeah. We are getting tickets. Oh, okay. Hey. We're we are. We're getting somewhere. We are. We're getting, we're getting, getting somewhere for sure. We are getting tickets. 
Yeah. Oh, you wrote yeah. it. We're I, 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 I missed the G. Oh, yeah. okay. oh we're okay. we, uh, getting ticket. Getting. Getting. Get, get, I think my G is just not working, I'm afraid. So. Oh. <laughs> we're, okay. That, we're get, and now we're, we're getting, getting we're, at, we're getting tickets. It's, every time it gets worse somehow. We're, get, we're getting. We are. Getting. Oosh. Getting. We are getting. Okay. Get yeah. I feel like it's more like a getting. So I might come up to you at the racetracks <laughs> and be like, Ethan, what are you doing? And you would say, We're getting tickets. <laughs> hey. Hey. That was good. I'm say, no. A little, a little bit no. There. We're getting, we're getting tickets. Mm. <laughs> we're regressing. Yeah, and I think you can play around with intonation a little bit as well. Mm. Okay, dude, let's do let's this do one. Something else. Um, maybe. Pete, uh, uh, um, yeah. um, what's his name, Shelby? I'm Arthur, I'm Arthur fucking Shelby of the Peaky Blinders. Yeah. So I'm all Arthur fucking Shelby. I'm Arthur Shelby. fucking Shelby, yeah. Of the Peaky Shelby. Blinders. Fucking Peaky, Peaky Blinders. Blinders. Arthur. Okay, I've got to write in a, a <laughs> fake version of this, and I just want you to Thank try you so much. He's, he's writing it out phonetically for me. Yes. Uh, I'll copy it over to you once you send it. Where... Yeah. Where? Get What's his last name? Ticket. Shelby. Shelby. Thanks. We're yeah. get we're we're getting tickets. Where? Mm -mm. Where? 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 Oh, we that's perfect. Jack. Getting. Getting. I'm getting. F we're getting. Shelby. What's wrong with my getting? I don't know. Is it right? What's wrong with getting? my getting? <laughs> getting. Getting. I think I think it's just that you're going. Too, too much of a pitch getting. variation between the two things. Just, getting. Yeah, getting. 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 Almost like you're mm -hmm. combining it into I one I feel like syllable. you're saying getting. 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 Like you're more like in with it. But We're it's like getting. getting. We're getting tickets. Mm. <laughs> getting. Oi Alpha fucking Shelby. <laughs> Put that M on that first word. Oi I'm, oh, I'm Arthur fucking Shelby. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. That's that's good. Good. That wasn't bad. Yeah. Oi yeah. oh, I'm... Oh, I'm off the fucking Shelby, mate. <laughs> Where's my fucking money? Yeah. How much? You owe me 20 quid. <laughs> yeah, I think we're making some improvements for I sure. So, well, yeah. One of the things that we're definitely doing is getting rid of those R's, which is one of the R's. R's. Okay. R's. R's. So, so is, the, is, the, is the R like kind of like, is that really one of the core differences between like an American accent and a British accent? Like it's one of the big differences for most of the English accents. You'll mm -hmm. find places in mm -hmm. the, the West country near Bristol. Uh, if you've seen any of the Harry Potters, it's how Hagrid talks or any of the Lord of the Rings, it's how a mm -hmm. lot of the hobbits talk. Okay. Um, <coughs> where they have their R's, but it's only in a Get specific to. region where they have those. <laughs> um, otherwise it's, what about like them. a regular pr person from London? Uh-huh. <laughs> then you only say an R if the next thing is a vowel. Mm. Otherwise you don't. Let's see. The, the next sound. I will yeah. literally never ever forget that. My whole I'll never remember that. <laughs> if if you say the title like of your show for me. H free podcast. <laughs> the H free. Yeah, and which which brand of the H three is this one? After dark. Exactly. So we don't want either of those R's in there. Mm. We want after, after dark. After dark. It's the H free podcast af, af, after after dark. Oh, very good. Okay. Now, after okay. dark. The after dark. After yeah. dark. The dark. The R that you use in dark can you use the same one in after. After dark. After. Dark. Yeah. Dark. That one. After, yeah, that after dark. dark. All right, we need to work on something like, oh, give me something like really obscenely English H3 to say. H3. H3. Um, oh, yeah. H3. 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 It's the H3 podcast. Ha after, after dark. dark. <laughs> after. Yeah, so we're going to have three R's in a row. It's going to be podcast after dark. Mm. How do I but okay? So here, let let's nail down a, a specific phrase, and then uh, let's right. something about um, something about Bob's your uncle. I'm taking suggestions at the moment. Let's go down to the uh, something about uh, 
I like be- I like beans on toast. There you please. go. Ordering beans on yeah. toast. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's great. a great phrase. That's yeah. what I need. Yeah, I'd like to- okay. I'd like so- let me try. I'd like I'd like beans on toast, please. Wow. Hmm. Okay. I I can see that you're applying everything that we put in. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Let uh, I like some beans on. Uh, I like uh, beans, beans. <laughs> I like some beans on toast. Y'all hear about Bye. them beans on toast? <laughs> them English Not are crazy with them beans on Not toast. Yeah, we're we're on I ain't never heard of some okay. goddamn beans I, on no toast. I put before. a ridiculous version in the chat box for someone to send to you, and I just want you to read that and see what happens again. I'm not, I'm not holding my breath necessarily, but I'd love to just see. Oi, oi, like, I like some beans on to- toast, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Great. Would I look some beans on toast, please? Wow. That, hey, listen. I read yeah, that no, exactly that, as you wrote that it. That is exactly what I read. You know, yeah, 100. It's so uh, the, the failure two... of the teach of the student is the <laughs> failure of the teacher, my friend. So um, the first two, if you take your lips and let them round a little bit and go, I, I, I. Rather than I, mm. I, 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 that's great. Yeah, I. and then could you keep them there for like? I, I like. like. Oh wait, no. Do do I hit the yeah, like? That, that 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 was great. I do like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I like. like. Uh, I like some beans on toast, please. <laughs> <laughs> then we can let them relax a little oh, bit. Oh, relax. I like. I. Like, <laughs> I'd like, like. like some. Yeah, some sounded great. Beans is regular. Beans, mm-hmm. beans. Regular to you. <laughs> or like some ba- beans. 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 Just beans. Yep. Beans. Yep. And then round it again. On. On. And now this is the fun one. Mm. Toe. Toe. Toast. 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 So instead Toast. of oh, that you would normally Toast. have in American, Toast. can you say an uh like the for me? Say again. Can you say an uh like in the word the for me? The, the. Uh, yeah. The. Uh. And then can you say ooh ooh? Can you join the two together? The uh, ooh. ooh. The ooh. Oh. The ooh. The glide. Toast. Oh. Toast. Oh. Yeah, and let your lips round a lot. Oh. Toast. Nice. Toast. That was it. Yeah. Toast. Yes. I like. I. I like. I like some beans on toast. <laughs> We gotta the beans. We gotta shed that twang on the beans. I yeah. like. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah. You know what? We let us Southerners like our baked beans. <laughs> the Southern is comfort for you. It's home. It's comfort. It's home. Yeah. Yeah. You ever had Southern them? Comfort. Yes, right. Y'all English wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I like some. I. I like some beans. Yeah. On to- toast. <laughs> toast. Toast. You know, when you were doing that with your lips, it actually helped quite a lot. Toast. <laughs> yeah, it was a better. I mean, toast. it didn't sound southern. Toast. Toast. Dan, do me a favor. Sure. Ask ChatGPT to write <laughs> oh. a, a, a sentence, the oh, most no. English Beans sounding sentence for us. You know, uh, this is a moment to ask ChatGPT. So. What you... about Israeli accent? Is that something that oh. you know? Um, I've. Worked with people either with it or trying to change it to something else. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how do I get rid of it? <laughs> <laughs> and I think you should get rid of it. Um, but one of the things about Hebrew is that it only has, a, um, I think it's five. Is that what it wrote then? Yeah. It has, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. One, two, three, five vowels. Mm-hmm. Um that you use, whereas in American English, the 16. Ooh. Uh-oh. So sometimes one sounds like something that's actually two mm-hmm. in American. So, for example, the E mm-hmm. and the I, the Hebrew is kind of between those two, mm-hmm. like an I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so it's trying to f- separate it into when it's supposed to be an E in like sleep. Or an mm. I as in is. So that's like one of the challenging areas. Mm. Wow. Um, I never even thought about it like that. Jack, chat, GBT, uh, all the, the most advanced, the most, sorry. 
it, it came through for us, did it? So <laughs> the most advanced AI in the world has crunched the data with uh, <laughs> millions of data points. And here is the uh, short paragraph or sentence it's generated for us. Blimey! 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 A after a day at the office, this knackered bloke could certainly fancy a cup of... Wait, okay. A cup of some bit... Cusp of some biscuits while watching the telly, followed by a swift visit to the local pub for a cheeky pint with his mates before <laughs> grabbing some fish and chips on the way home. Oh We're going God. back in time. Well, the great thing is we've got to hear all your possible accents throughout. <laughs> yeah, so that's awesome. Guys, I don't Blimey. know. I, I, I don't know if this is a lost cause. <laughs> no, it's great. Um, let's just pick out a couple of the words in here. Blimey. Uh, I, I just uh, I just sent it to you in the chat so you Thank can you, reference yes. that. Thank you, Blimey, after a long day Blimey. at the office, this knackered Blimey. bloke could certainly fancy a cup of and some biscuits while watching telly, followed by a swift visit to the local pub for a cheeky pint with his mates before grabbing some fish and chips on the way home. Mm. Wow. Do you feel that's a um, racist sentence? I don't, no. You don't but, offend um, by that? <laughs> No, it sounds like the perfect day, honestly. <laughs> um, let's look at one of the words in here because it it's going to be tricky, and I think, but I think I, I have faith that at least one of you can do it. <laughs> oh, gosh. yeah, somebody in here. So the the word is F A N C Y. Fancy, 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 fancy. fancy. I'll tell you what, boy, I like them fancy type. Not fancy. <laughs> Y'all that kind of fancy city type. No! <laughs> now, can you say the word F-A-T for me? Fat. So that same sound that you use in that, that ah, is what we need in this word. Rather mm. than gliding a fair in anything, we just want fancy. Fa, mm. fa, fancy. Fa, fancy. Fancy. Fat, fancy. Fat, fat, fancy. Fancy. Fair. So yeah, you can take the T off. Just fa fancy. Oh no T. Fancy. Fat That was fa yeah, fancy. 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 Not bad. Fancy. A cup of a cup of the biscuits <laughs> while watching the telly. Uh, yeah, a cup and a some cup biscuits. A, a cup of and a cup of and some biscuit. <laughs> Go just, just, move away from home. No more. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. Fly me. <laughs> <laughs> after a long, um, after a long day at the office, no! <laughs> blimey, across, across the pond, across blimey, the pond. oi, I'm just blimey, like, mate, yeah, after a long day oi. at the office, boy, this <laughs> knackered old bloke, I tell you what, brother, oh God. could certainly fancy one of them cups <laughs> of tea and a couple of biscuits. It might dude. be a lost cause, I don't know. Kinda, now, <laughs> I don't hey, know. do me a favor, pull me that tea nice and slow <laughs> like molasses. <laughs> well, you know, time I mean, moves slow in the south out here. <laughs> in the south of England. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, I'm a lost cause. We have discovered. Let's try. You know what? I think the English the is not happening. Mm -hmm. Let's what try about, Italian. Yeah, yeah. What about Italian? It's not happening. It's just not Great. in my repertoire. Do, do we have uh, a beautiful? Chat GPT created. Yes, please. Italian, that, yeah. Italian or something about Fredo this. breaking my heart. I, I, well, yeah, I, got, I got something. Oh, that's what I was about to say. Are we talking about an Italian accent? Or are we talking about a old New gangster Italian. movie? Yes. Italian <laughs> gangster movie. Italian. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Italian. But that's more of like a Brooklyn accent, wouldn't it be? Something like that. Yeah. I believe. I believe. <laughs> I believe in America. America has made me my fortune. America's made me the man I am today. Can you do exactly the same, but without the growl? That's that's the whole thing. The growl is, the, is why. Is the, that's the, but that's you're, the, you're you're shifting some other things at the same time, and they're not they're not wrong necessarily. Fred, Fredo, Fredo, Fredo. You're my. It sounds like Mario. Fredo, now we, now we've got to you're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take it aside so against the family again. <laughs> hey, right, so, so we've gone back to the, the motherland, which is great. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do the motherland so, then. One of the words I want you to just do one little substitution. And let's... Fredo, you're breaking, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> uh, very good. I put a little... 
sing in the chat. Here, I'll, I'll pass that it sounds better it. with the growl, though, don't you think? But about it, it sounds more like a love. person that we've heard before. Okay, love. Love. Oh, I like that. Pray yeah. you. You're my older brother. I love you. <laughs> that's exactly okay. that. That's love you. <laughs> the same thing happens in brother. Instead of bra, we can do bra. Brother. 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 Fredo, you're my older brother. I, lo I love you. <laughs> See, you can be a Mario like too. See, yeah. Yeah. The English with, with peace and love, of course. I just, I, it's not accessible to me. It's really hard. <laughs> you know, my, they, my <laughs> chance for learning the English accent, I think, uh, <sighs> was buried when uh, the Queen was. Rip. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate. <Zach. laughs> On the eve of the coronation. Yeah, come on. How do we feel about King Charles? Are we a fan of King Charles? Do we think he could uh, fill uh, the uh, shoes? Are we using the royal we? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking uh, the individual Londoner. Mm, um, he is here. He got the <laughs> sausage fingers on. Huh? You seen those meaty little things? I haven't really paid that close see? attention can, to his, can his deep. <laughs> a deep dive yeah, can we, the, I'll show you. I'll just show you. It's just interesting. It's not related to our accent training, obviously, but <laughs> it is atmospheric, I would say. King Charles fingers. He got some sausage, like little sausages, bro. Like I breakfast sausages. I saw uh, for the coronation, people are making sausage finger sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> can you see those little oh, wow. things? Those meaty yeah. little uh, middens? Oh, man. Could put that oh, on a piece of that bread. It might be a condition. Oh, it's definitely a condition. Okay. I think it's. <laughs> there's no question about that. He's seen everything, everything, where all at once. No. <laughs> all right, I'm. I'm actually feeling the Italian one. Uh, let's, let's. Yeah, I, I think you're making some progress with that for sure. Um, maybe you want to go into a restaurant and order like pasta or a pizza or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me, so, Fredo, you're my older. What, how do you say brother again? With an Bra. ah rather than brother. Brother. Fredo, yeah. you're my older brother. I, I love I I love you. I love you. <laughs> hey, Fredo, God. you're my older brother. I I love you. You sound like Andrew. I good. sound like Borat. No, you sound <laughs> like my grandma. Is your Literally. grandma Italian? Yes. Oh Olivia. you're Italian? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, Olivia. Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. You, we've had an Italian here the whole time. Sounds exact. You know what? That's, That's what actually more like accurate. On the weekend. Oh, Your grandma sounds yeah. like Marlon Brando <laughs> on the weekends when she has oh, fun. You Olivia, kidding? you've sat here with us mm -hmm. all these years and never mentioned <laughs> that your own grandmother comes from the motherland, <laughs> Dali. I know. She's back there right now, actually. Is it? Wow. Her? Yeah, grandma, nonna. You tell your grandmother that. If she if she's thinking about stepping up to the dawn, there's only enough space in this city for the one of us. I'll let her know. Polly. I love you. Grandma. You're Liana. my you're my grandma. I love you. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing that beautiful eye you just did in grandma? Grandma. I I love you. Are you using the back of your Tongue or using the front of it for the front yeah, or, or a front 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 yeah. yeah How about this? Let, like, let's do this. Like there's a little back at the involved, but we want the front for sure. Let's do. You don't even think to call. You don't. You don't even. You don't even think to call me, Godfather. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> you come into my house on the day of my daughter to be married, and you ask her to me to do it. You asking me to do the murder <laughs> for money? When you trail yeah, money away. is like brother in love. So yeah, ma, ma money, money. <laughs> money. See, we need the music. Money. <laughs> yeah, hit me with that. Yeah. You don't even think to call me Godfather, Godfather. <laughs> Instead, you come into my house on the day of my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> <You> just... <laughs> What happened? <laughs> Instead, you come into my house on the day of my, my daughter's to be married. My brain shows me him like on a map going somewhere else in the world yeah. when he switches. You're doing more poorly, you know? You're doing more poorly. We're going to take care of you, Don. 
<laughs> Dude, I, I, I hate to say it, but I think um, I think Jack is totally lost. <laughs> Jack's lost. You're no, lost. No, I think I, I don't know that I don't know that this tempest is something that could be uh, quelled. <laughs> Contained. Yes, I don't right. think so. I mean, it's like trying to teach. Uh, I mean. Trying to teach, trying to teach a gorilla to a sign language. It's, it's just exactly not happening. Like hmm. I feel like we made, made a couple of things of progress here and there. We, there we were dropped a few some R's Your in, love. In, in the British. Uh, yeah. The love. The love money, was incredible. The brother. So here's <laughs> ChatGPT's uh, uh, Italian for you. Listen. Great. Cool Jean. Here, hit me with the music, Zach. The music I just, feel like it throws you off. Yeah, the music yeah. just makes you start doing God. Listen, it's not helpful, spell. Yeah, exactly. We got a little a job for you. And if you do it right, <laughs> maybe someday you'll be a man, Kabish. Just remember, if someone gets in your way, don't be afraid to show them a who's a boss. A bada bing, a bada boom. <laughs> they actually it wrote bada bing, bada boom. What? Did That's gotta yeah. be racist. Oh my god. Have you ever heard of Italiophobia? It is a real thing, and uh, we do need to be sensitive of it. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, a Kudin. Can you can you read that sentence for me? Here, uh, I don't have it. Here, I'll put it into the. I'll put it in. But the I chat. thought you did a pretty good job. Oh really? Really. <laughs> Listen, a Kudin. <laughs> We got a little a job for you, and if you do it right, maybe someday it'll make you a man. Kabesh, just remember. People are saying Italian leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, <laughs> if somebody get in your way, don't be afraid to show them who's a boss. A bada bing, a bada boom. <laughs> Very good. The only word I want to get you to alter, really, is the word job. And job. I want it to be job rather than oh. job. 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 Exactly. Job. <laughs> Listen to Kujin. We got a little job for you. <laughs> if you ever do it right, maybe someday you'll be a man, Kabish. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, if somebody gets it out of your way, don't be afraid to show them who's a boss. A bada bing, a bada boom. You can definitely be in the Mario sequel with that. <laughs> wow. wow. I'll take that as a win. I'll take that as a win. He's so cool. So, bada bing, bada boom, that's not really an Italian thing, is it? So, ChatGPT wrote that, and I feel I, I offended mean, that, for the Italian. You know, it, it's choosing hey, off a stereo. What about Russian Italian accent? Phrase. Does that Russian. interest you? Ru uh, Russia. From Russia. Russia. I'm from. Yet. I'm from. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. <laughs> That is not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the accent. Well, okay, then. Let's you rate my one accent that I think is fantastic. Okay. I have an accent that I think shines above them all. <laughs> that, of course, I'm talking about uh, the Gill Boys. You know what I'm saying? You ever been down south, Jack? You ever been down to Georgia about them, about them times now? Mm -hmm. uh, I actually lived in Mississippi for a while. Oh, oh. Little good old, oh you're a good old boy from the south. <laughs> I like that. You ever come down on the Delta, take a little steamboat down there, just enjoy the slow time, slow like molasses through a, cold, through a nice warm summer day. Mm-hmm. Had me some sweet tea and a, you know, that's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have me at one of them, uh, what do you call them, like the... <laughs> those fucking balls that the uh, Chris Hansen got canceled for. <laughs> oh, an antebellum ball. <laughs> Have me one of them antebellum balls. Mm -hmm. Right. So no yeah. uh, cookies for you. Uh. <laughs> right. Okay, go ahead. So, so yeah, one out of ten. <laughs> well, I feel like you take us on a tour of the South with, okay. with your accent. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I'm inclusive. I, I do that intentionally, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Right. So there are times when you <laughs> kind of feel like you're maybe in the Appalachians, and then you, you kind of via over to Texas, round to Georgia, mm -hmm. back. Well, back I'm a good, so I know, represent the South, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of per, all over the place. Personally, my favorite is Dark Nathaniel Klansman, where he, he buries bodies, you know? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that, right. that was probably right. your shining moment. Man. I tell you what, man. 
sometimes I sit out here on the porch and I get to thinking. Dark thoughts, <laughs> you know. Sometimes out here there's nothing to do but think. Sometimes the storms roll in, keep you bound to your house for a week two on end. The waters, they fall, the rivers, they rise up. Boy. And I tell you what, man, I tell you, some of them rivers rise up, some of them bodies rise up too. Ain't nothing I'm proud of, but I'll tell you what, boy. Got a couple of fuck, got a couple of things under my floorboard when them rivers rise. I get a little anxious when it rains. Because dark secrets come out when the tide goes up. You ever I definitely think the pitch is uh, your uh, friend. Uh, 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 you, ever, you ever sit on the porch and see the country light up by the lightning light? Make you think about all this here. Is it God who put us all here? No. Someone much darker than that. What is God? It's a joke. God won't put me here on this hill on earth. I tell you what, <laughs> I grew up, but I grew up <laughs> with my good old friend, Jeremiah. <laughs> me and Jeremiah used to be real close, like we used to run through the field. <laughs> we used to <laughs> we used to shoot at deer in the in the field like one day, Jeremiah come home to me. We were close friends, real close. Jeremiah, one day he come home, he said, I kissed your sister. I wasn't too kind about that, because I'll tell you what, man, I've been kissing my sister. What's your argument? <laughs> That's my sister, and anyone going to be reprocreating with her, Jeremiah, that's going to be me. <laughs> So I took Jeremiah out back, told him we were going to sleep some sweet tea. And I whispered in his ear, Jeremiah, <laughs> cross the line this time, big brother. And I did something I regret. I'm not proud to say it, but I put my hands on his neck. Wow, the light left his, his eyes. The last breath exited his mouth. As I looked on his lifeless body, I realized what I had done, but there was no going back at this point. I could see... <laughs> I could tell there was no run going back at this point. I saw the clouds rolling in across the field. It was coming in ready for some rain. But I thought if I got to live a good life here for my sister, I got to get rid of this body. She going to wonder where Jeremiah went. He's a good friend. He's been around for a long time. People be asking questions. I got to make sure that body get good and good gone. So I did me a trench down up in the fields, real deep, talking. I took the tractor, the John Deere. <laughs> <laughs> I took my pop, I took my daddy's John Deere, and I start digging, and I start digging. <laughs> and most, by most people's calculation, they say about six feet enough, but I kept digging. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it was, maybe it wasn't I was digging to hide the body. Maybe I was digging my own shame, trying to hide it. Don't have to <laughs> face it again. I tell you that John Deere went about deep as went about as deep as my shame down to the devil himself. And when I put Jeremiah's corpse, I rolled it right in there. The devil lick his ass so deep. <laughs> and he did, I swear to God. As I filled in that ditch with my good friend Jeremiah, I said, Oh, this gone. Never gonna be the same around here. Went home, the rain started to pour, lightning hit the fields like a like a shock from God. I could see the trees shaking out there in the field. <laughs> 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 I would like to say that was the last time I took a man's life, but it was only the first. Oh Turned out I had an appetite for it. 
people, sending people out down to a real deep grave. Something in me, if some kind of darkness, a hole in me, couldn't be filled by nothing else. And I wasn't this kind of man, I wasn't kind of, I wasn't kind of no murderer, but it was a hole, a deep hole inside of me, couldn't be filled up no other kind of way. Started with Jeremiah, turned out the next one was Jim, Bi- Jim Bob. I don't like to talk about Jim Bob hurt not. If he it hurt too bad. Jim Bob a good man. But I tell you, man, something happened when them light just switch off behind my eyes and I see Jim Bob and I just think this man belong in the dirt down with the devil himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you I met Jim Bob's jazz. <laughs> <laughs> I met Jim Bob one day, a hot, humid summer day out there in the fields. We was picking, we was picking uh, all the crops, the corn was getting ready for harvest. Yeah. It, was a, it was a tough harvest season, you know, the, the disease came, ate most of our crops. Hard time for us farmer type. But come around Jim Bob, coming around saying, hey, you boys look thirsty. You boys look like you're going to have some kind of drink to hydrate. I did one. I was thirsty. That ain't no truth about that. But I was thirsty for something else. He didn't want to know the truth, and I didn't want to face it either. I'd already taken one man's life. I was about to take another. Took... I, see close <laughs> I took Jim Bob into my house while we had ourselves some of them iced tea. Something just woke in me. He was a good man, a good Christian boy. I gave him that iced tea. I watched the cubes swirl around his glass like the last embers of his life. This great flame that was Jim Bob about to be flickered, about to flicker to the end. Embers <laughs> just going cold. <laughs> <laughs> I invited Jim Bob inside. (laughs) 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 I invited Jim Bob back to my house. Tell him to sit down, watch the telly. And I just stand behind him and watch. I knew this man's last moment here on this earth. He didn't even see it coming. <sighs> I hate to think about Jim Bob. What I did to him wasn't right. But I'll tell you since you ask. <laughs> Sat down right next to him. I put a little bit of a sedative in his iced tea, you know, the kind that just make you sleep nice and peaceful. Well, he drank his tea, boy, I tell you what. Passed right there on the couch, went to sleep sweet like an angel. He looked so peaceful when he slept like that the last time he'd ever sleep, I tell you, man. What is the difference between death and sleep, I wonder? As I sat there looking at uh, uh, Jim Bob taking a nice little sleep there. Because what I tell you, when I took that knife and dug it into his side, I tell you, he didn't wake up. He just kept on sleeping. And I wondered to myself, what is the difference? I just took me a life, and yet this man couldn't even wake up to face me in the eyes. I tell you, Jim Bob was a good man around the community. His family couldn't know what was going on. His mama come around talk about, hey, you seen Jim Bob? I say, I ain't seen Jim Bob around here. You know I ain't seen Jim Bob in ages. Got it. We was Got close. Right. That was very good. Thank you so much. And this show will premiere next Thursday. So, yeah, uh, Jack, did, what did you think about my accent? I think you have another career as an A&E documentary. <laughs> uh, 
but no on a, on a slightly like genuine note i feel like for you that pitch really helps you stay in a certain accent mm. Mm. so this version of your southern accent when you when you do it down here then that kind of helps you stay in one place rather than switching between things and the same with your like godfather one because you've got that extra vocal quality happening i tell you what you man kind of stay you say stand down there, and that's what I saw when I said Jim Bob's body. I saw it stay down there. Not again. Because sometimes the 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 soul is the body's voice trying to escape and put Jim Bob down in that there hole. I said stay down low there, stay down low Let there. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. I appreciate you. Uh, sometimes I get, I get, uh, <laughs> in the words of Tupac, it's just dead homies uh, speaking uh, through my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's lost in the sauce a little bit. All right, Jack, everybody. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You know, I appreciate Having it. Me. I know this wasn't an easy assignment for you, but uh, clearly you're very talented and. I'm, you know, the the faults of me should not reflect on uh, you as a coach. Surely, no. I think there not. is potential there, and I definitely think with either as well. Mm. The, the, there's a there's a hidden talent hiding there. <laughs> yeah, Chat loves you. Yeah, <laughs> Chat thought you were a sweetheart for tolerating me. So thank you, Jack. Thank you. Uh, appreciate yeah, you for having me. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much, P- uh, people. If you want, uh, uh, if you guys want. You can hit him up at accentcoachjack.com. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or accentcoachjack on all platforms. That's awesome. That's all Accent, right. Accent Coach Jack. We'll put the link in the description. You guys can check it out. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Worked on Westworld, Fargo. Really? And more. Oh, wow. Fargo. That's an interesting one. Love it. Yeah, it's the new season that's coming out mm. this month, I think. I oh, I love so, yeah. that show. It's so good. All right, Jack. Take care. Thanks for calling in. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Jack. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Sorry about <Wow>. that. <laughs> you know, well, I didn't work at all. That was just not good. I feel like your accents might be worse. I think they're worse. <laughs> I think they are. I love that. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Well, you know, I looked, the thing that got me is I looked up and Jack was so politely and seriously listening. I Mm. thought, I just got to keep going for him. Mm -hmm. Um, You know. (laughs) Someone said he looked so confused. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. All right. Sorry about that, Jack. Uh, You didn't deserve that. (laughs) Just like Jim Bob didn't deserve what came to him. He's a good man. Didn't deserve that. No, sir. Mm-mm. Tell you, man. The good old boy, that Jim Bob. Shame what happened to him. Shame what happened to him. Was, go ahead, Zach. Shame what happened to him, sister, too. She came more? around looking for Jim Bob. You still got more in you. She came around looking for Jim Bob. I told her, well, I ain't seen him. You want to come in for a drink, though? And y'all know how that goes. No. No. All right. Thank you, guys. Is that all improvised? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> did you th- what did you think? Uh, <laughs> no, you actually killed him in there. <laughs> I think it would be crazier if I wrote that. That's <laughs> wild. You improvised that. I got to give you props for that. Oh, thank man. you. Yeah, that was pretty beautiful. <laughs> thank you. I just Jack was moved, so it was mm-hmm, nice to see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right, let's move on. Let's forget all about this accent thing. It's a good idea in theory. Mm-hmm. Jack. The English one is so hard for me. I don't know why. It's really hard for me too. It's like just not. I just don't understand it. And I work with somebody pretty much every day with a very thick English accent, and I, I oh, love. Right. I yeah. love it. I love yeah. listening to it. <laughs> Oi, peaky fucking blinders! I wish I could do it because that'd be like the most useful accent, <laughs> you know, to have in my repertoire. All right, happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> a little better. <laughs>
Arriba. Oh, uh, some people thought that was from ChatGPT. <laughs> They're um, impressed that oh, it was you. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> ChatGPT? How could you even? Chat what would be a GPT prompt? ChatGPT could never. I would like to know. Here, I'm gonna ask Chat. Ask ChatGPT to write. GPs up. Uh, a monologue of a southern man thinking to himself, reminiscing about the time he had to kill his best friend Jim Bob for sleeping with his <laughs> sister because he was in love with his sister. In the style of. <laughs> True Detective season one. Oh yeah. shit! Uh, okay, now I'm interested. I'll narrate well, it. What's your argument? what we could do is take the whole uh, transcript of the when you were telling it and tell it to continue the story. Oh mm. shit, that'd be crazy. Someone's got to yeah. annotate all that though. Uh, yeah, Dan, is that okay? Asking, well, in my opinion, the, you know. Bit already kind of went on too long. So if we were to do a chat GPT thing uh -huh. and then you were to like narrate it, it would kind of just, we would just be doing that same bit again. And what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's my. Did you Dan just hit a button? Yeah, that's the don't talk Dan button. What the fuck is this, dude? This I, got shit. I got inspired by Steven Crowder. Dude, this is <laughs> fucked up. Dan, don't talk. I hit the fucking button. Silence. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, now write it into the chat GPT. I don't want to have to ask you so many times. <laughs> I'll button you again, brother. Don't make me. No, that doesn't work Did you hear about the... No. So Crowder had a no. button. He had a button for his co-host, the Leprechaun, uh, when he wanted him to, to stop talking so he could up the last word. He had a button that he would push that turned on a light. Oh, my oh, God. And so I got inspired by it, and I, we <laughs> installed my own button. Is that okay for you, Dan? It's really, really fucking bright. Like, I can't see... Could you at least <laughs> just turn off the light? <laughs> like I won't talk. Can I? Can we turn off the light? You're talking now. If you maybe if you stop talking, I'll turn off the button. <laughs> okay, you can turn the light off. Silence. <laughs> oh, there's more. But there was there another Crowder update that you sent? Was that new? What is this? The fighter and the kid. Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Isn't this what? the? No. Isn't this a Schwab hate subreddit? Yeah, it's the right. subreddit dedicated to his podcast. But you can see him give the shut up Dave button to Brian. Oh yeah, you can see him. Do oh the button. no way! Yeah, I'm you gave it to you, B. I think he probably think ladies he lied. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, he did the button to Callan? Oh my god! He sure did, dude. He just bitched. Dude, I love that Callan thinks he's an alpha and Crowder just buttoned his ass into silence. Wait, I need that one more time. It's yeah, so one more time. good. You can, you can hear it click, too. You can oh hear it click if you God. listen careful. I love Crowder's like, I'm in the zone, man. Don't fuck me up. I bet you probably think ladies. I bet you probably think ladies have... I bet you probably think that's... That is the fucking best. Parents can force them to keep their cock goods. <laughs> Watch it. You, I just, the, the, wow, that was amazing. You think, you probably think ladies, I bet you probably think Shut the fuck up, Brian. Ladies. Huh? How about you probably think that? What's so good is he thought oh he was being God. funny, so he was trying to shut him up to finish his stupid ass bit right there. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know, that's, that's interesting to me that Brian got bitched out with the button. Well, he seems to be the Dave replacement, so. Oh, is Ka Callan's the Dave replacement and he's already buttoning him? Yeah, I mean, it was probably part of the deal, <laughs> to be frank. Ew. Callan is such a gross Button. fucking loser for... Button. Ooh. If he was already not gross enough, he yeah. teamed up with Crowder. Mm -hmm. Wild. Just, like, sealed the deal. Um, oh, yeah, speaking of Crowder, um, there, here's an old article of Crowder's that I thought was fantastic. This is published 2015. He wrote as, I'm a guy and I'll never badmouth my wife. <laughs> Nice. That doesn't work for me either. No, that doesn't work either. My wife is such a pain in the ass, he said, as we were changing in the gym locker room. You know how it is, he finished. Blankly, I stared at him, cocking my head sideways like a befuddled mastiff. Okay. What even is that? A dog. Like a, it's like a dog. Mm. No, I don't really know, he said. As I finished dressing myself and walked out, you could hear a pin drop. The gentleman had certainly never heard, nor expected to hear a response like that <laughs> from is... one of the guys for as uh, long as he'd lived. This oh my never God. happened. I'm going to go ahead and say right now. Yep. 
You made this all up. Yep. I mean, it wouldn't blow his mind if he's like, no, I don't. You could hear a pin drop, and then everyone clapped. <laughs> and then somebody came up and gave me a $100 bill. <laughs> he's like, wow. Um, Tip of them a hat to you, sir, for standing up for your wife. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to do a funny joke. Right, okay, got okay, it. Okay, let's not steal the... Chill out. <laughs> and then everybody clapped. I guarantee this never happened. And then everybody clapped and gave him a hundred bucks. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Yeah, that was great. That, uh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Love that Zach, fucking thing. Zach, Zach, Zach. <laughs> Come on. Yes, you're distracting me. We have a, yeah, it's not as slick. <laughs> I love the button though. So he goes, he goes, uh, as I finished dressing myself and walked out, you could hear a pin drop. Oh yeah, I've read that. I think that's sad. Also, he needs to do some squats. <laughs> Steven Crowder. When men get together, they moan about their wives. The commentary provided on marriage between groups of men is typically one from a viewpoint that assumes marriage to be life's greatest, most unfun mistake not only is it often as disingenuous as joe biden's hairline bro are you fucking what? actually consider yourself a comedian joe biden's what? hairline to see that in writing like that's such a bad joke right like you, you thought actually, yeah you wrote that and then decided yeah. i'm keeping that is this is this giving you like like erotic vibes at all Fanfic? Yeah. Well, yeah, he Maybe. told him to do some squats. Yeah, the right. squats part. Like yeah. the locker room. He's the... like, uh, here's how it goes. He, they go, <laughs> I told him to do some squats. And then we realized, as we kept talking about our wives, the electricity wasn't between the lives. It was between us husbands. We went in the uh -huh. sauna together. <laughs> start, kept talking about our wives in the sauna. Decided to drop my towel. Mm. I said to my friend, don't you drop your towel too? Get comfortable in here, see your sauna. Saw his big old dick come curling out like a goddamn like a goddamn deep sea scroll. And I tell you, the sea was deep that day, my friend. All right, we know you need to go down that hole again. Uh, but yeah, as disingenuous as Joe Biden's hairline. Firstly, there may uh, be some people out there who actually believe their wife to merely be the old ball and chain. This is so fucking awesome. He's like, my wife, who I chose wrong, <laughs> won't even put on gloves and put on toxic medicines up my dog's ass while she's pregnant. To you, I say, you are a loser. Not only are you a loser for dishonoring the woman who is now an extension of yourself, but you're a loser for picking someone you who you hate Having to become home every night. This is like literally this is crazy. crazy. <laughs> what kind of an idiot are you to marry a person that you think's a moron? Oh this is God. him. He's talking to himself. Yeah. No, it doesn't work either. either. <laughs> These same people are shocked when I don't chime in on their urine, ate, and moan fest regarding their old maids. Oh my God. Such a good guy that Steven Crowder is, man. We don't deserve him. <laughs> Imagine actually thinking I married somebody better than myself. Imagine looking forward to discussing anything and everything with my wife because she actually helps me make better decisions that ultimately transform my life into more than the selfish pile of crap I was before her. Crazy, I know. Hold your nose, though, because here comes the really cold water. I actually love my in-laws, too. Well, I'm sure they love you back after all this shit. <laughs> actually, they're the ones that leaked the video. The in-laws? Yeah. Ooh. They said, we've been hiding Crowder's abusive behavior for years. I didn't from know. From his in-laws. Awesome. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I realize that there are some people who genuinely hate their spouse, and that's sad. It really <laughs> is. It is sad, Stephen. It is. However, more often than not, I find that men fall under category number two. Those that actually love their wife just as much as I do, but are afraid to speak up. Are you fucking stupid? What is he talking? Yo, I love my I love my wife, but I'm just too I'm afraid to say it out in public. <laughs> the guys are gonna think I'm lame if I say I hate my wife. Yeah, I hate my fucking wife. She sucks. Uh. 
gay. <laughs> That's so, like, wh who are you hanging out with, Stephen? Those that actually love their wives as much uh, but are afraid to speak up because it's become commonplace in modern society, man cave of fakery. Men get together and they complain about their wives because that's what they feel they're supposed to do. It's as phony as your frat buddy's stupid tribal tattoos and everybody knows it. Bro, again, you got some strange company, brother. Yet they do it anyway. Because just like the dummies who took up smoking to fit in back in the high school... Bro, you were smoking a cigar in front of your pregnant mm -hmm. wife, dude. The fuck? These guys want to make sure that they have a spot in the cool kids' table. Pathetic. Here's my challenge to real men out there. It's very simple. If you have a good marriage, talk. Can I get some atmospheric, Zach? What are you feeling? Clown show? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it. Maybe some honking sounds as well. Here's my challenge to the real men out there. Very simple. If you have a good marriage, talk about it. If you love your wife, say it. If some moron tells you that you're merely a newlywed or that you're still just too young to understand, correct them. Open-handed slaps to the face are preferred. Now hit the wah wah. Hold on, I gotta move it. Thank you. You get the idea. Age is like milk. Bro, this is so embarrassing. What the fuck? Is there a video about this? No. So there it is. Uh, Steven Crowder, ladies and gentlemen. The man who will never badmouth uh, his wife. That's the title. And thank you, by the way, to uh, Chrissy Sherlock. My goodness. Thank you. So generous. All right, let's see. We got now Google. Now you guys are fucked in the head for this one. It says I'm 42 on Google. Did we talk about this already? Yep, or we talked about it yesterday on the show. Did it, is it fixed yet? Yeah, no. it's like 37. Eat it. I still oh, don't know who this is. Oh. Who is this? <laughs> That's also that's 37 the years old. Line that's 37. Yeah, that yeah, one's not right. this. That guy's 37. Line. Okay, so it's him. It's about him. Yeah. This I just want to know him. who who is he. I just want to know. He's a TikToker. That was you five years ago. <laughs> 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 really? It just doesn't look like me at all. I see it. You guys are demons for this. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> um. Here's a video of uh. H3 podcast at the Met Gala. It's kind of fun. Let's see. It's kind of cursed. Is this me? Is that me? It looks like <laughs> yeah, Zach. That's 37 year old you. That's, yeah, that's that, this is, it doesn't look. Any, wait, that's Zach. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look any. That's not a different person. The um, quality of the faces in this whole post vary wildly. Like some look exactly like the. AB and Lena's is really funny too. It's like, oh, that's Lena. I don't, that's like Ryan Reynolds' some, AB some, over I'll tell there. you what, boy, something went wrong in, when you were in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The temperature wasn't right or something. Yeah. I don't know if yeast. Ian and Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Alfredo, what are you eating, dude? This is Olivia. Dan, I mean, I don't okay, see it. Cool, that's a cool outfit. Nice one, Dan. I just don't see Dan in it. You know, you're not actually showing the outfits, by the way. It's well, what does it really matter? And that was kind of you know, the po point of the post. Oh, Jimmy really Lee. Here. All right, here. I was I was waiting for you. I want to show this to you. Okay. Oh, so. Fresh and fit. Uh, there's a new clip. That's a really, new one. It's really good. It's not about me, <laughs> but it's okay. It says a lot about this guy's <laughs> psyche. Just listen to this and tell me what you think. And except you, bitch, fuck out of here. Because when I was 18 years old, playing fucking Halo, figuring out my life, no bitch would have taken me. So now that I'm up, you're down, fuck that shit. I'm going to exercise the leverage. You want to be with a guy like me? You need to be at your fucking prime. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's like what? about to cry, genuinely. Yeah. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I, I actually, at a certain point, I actually feel bad because he's this just so crazy. damaged. Yeah, he doesn't seem up. Except you, the way he's saying he's up. 
Like, you're not up. No. This is down bad, I bad, bad. Be streaming like that, that mm-hmm. seems pretty down. <laughs> Only thing yeah. that's up is this fucked audio. This sounds horrible. Mm, <laughs> true. Okay, King. Fuck out of here. <laughs> and except you, bitch. Fuck out of here. Does he know was... that the opposite of love is not hate? It's apathy. He does not. Because <laughs> he's showing that he cares quite a bit. Right. It's like one girl broke his heart and he hasn't got over it, dude. Embarrassing. You want to pull a guy like me? What, what does that mean? What also, are you? Yeah, you, you're not that successful. Like, we found out Coconuts in Barbados is the one that paid for this whole operation. Oh, no, no. Coconuts say you're divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not divorced yet, Coconut. As of right now, I still stand. Coconutty? Walter, yeah. He hasn't said anything incriminating yet because he just hasn't mm-hmm. said anything. Fuck that Valid. Shit. <laughs> Valid point. It's okay to play Halo, bro. It's fine. You know what I mean? You're 18. It's okay, man. We all go through hard times. You don't have to be so hard on yourself, Myron. You should talk to someone. Talk. Do you talk? Yeah. Do you have a therapist? Do you have someone that you can be open and honest with? Fuck that shit. I hope. I hope. He I mean, does. Co- he probably is on open and honest with coconuts and Barbados, but it's probably like talking to a puppet or talking to the wall. You know, it's like. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, what was that? A diary. It's like a diary. It doesn't talk back, but it's good to vent to. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it tells you about what day it is. It's like it reminds you it's Wednesday at the top mm-hmm. of the page. Mm-hmm. Man, it is Wednesday. Oh man, it's Wednesday. It'll <laughs> yeah, like okay, that's helpful information. <laughs> Thank you. But I just feel that man, you need you need professional help, brother. Fucking Halo. You're still angry about high school girls not wanting to fuck you? How old is he? That's crazy. Like, genuinely, how old is he? He looks in his 40s. <laughs> fuck out of here! He's probably about mid-30s, I guess. He's 35. Okay. Okay, brother. That was 20 years ago. <laughs> and you're still angry that high school girls wouldn't fuck, wouldn't, didn't want to talk to you. It's time to move on, dude. There's no way to live your life. Figuring out my life, no bitch would have taken me. So now that I'm up, you're down. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna exercise. The They're not all down, by the way. Yeah, who is it? You're that just he's choosing. About? You're choosing to date like super young girls that don't have a lot going for them, so that you can feel like superior, that you have leverage. It's actually what he says. Mm-hmm. This is some real pathetic shit, dude. Looks like he's about to have an aneurysm. I mean, look at the vein in his forehead. This man is just. He's <laughs> been through too much. No bitch would have taken me. And even now, that no might be true. Will. I, yeah. That might you actually... Seem, I'm sorry, you just seem mean. <laughs> like, you don't seem like someone who's nice. That's how I feel about it. Fuck out of here! <laughs> what about this makes you think Fuck you went Fuck out of here! <laughs> so now that I'm up, you're down, fuck that shit, I'm gonna exercise the leverage. You wanna be with a guy like me? You need to be at your fucking prime. What does that mean? I hate that. I think he's the saying woman being at her prime. I think he's saying I don't know what he means, and I feel like it's disgusting. Whatever uh, it is, teenager, just, like go to the gym. I don't know. Yeah, in their prime, like fertile, like eighteen, prob. Teenager. Yeah. Yeah, teenager. Gross. Prime puss, as Keem would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, don't say that. I hate that. That's Ew. the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I guarantee you got some prime puss. Did that? Ew. Don't, don't, don't. Talk. No. Keem Star. No, you've done enough to the world. <laughs> Let's not stack on top of that. Kill it with the prime. <laughs> Thank you for the prime buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, listen. We keep expanding our crew topics, Ela, um, and we're trying to be as inclusive as possible. Did Hassan get added to this one, or is this the one we looked at yesterday? What do you mean crew topics? Well, for example, here. This is the one we looked at yesterday, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought you said you want to talk about it with Ela. Oh. Okay. Well, it's it's uh to- you know everyone has their forbidden topics. Mine is forbidden topics. This one doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's Philly, Nikocado, and hiking. Those I get, but Post Malone I don't understand. Yeah. Yours is Trisha. Okay. And feet. <laughs> okay. I want to smell feet. Uh, Ian's is Kanye West. Toilet. I don't understand. The, oh, because he's got a pee. <laughs> oh, uh, this one took me a while. So Lena's is Benjamin Franklin. And I was Why? like, what does that mean? And then I remembered it was the dude from the stream, right, AB? Yeah. Who was dressed oh, like that, Benjamin yeah. Franklin that was like uh, putting his arm around her. Oh. Uh, Cheese for love. That's good. You skipped Dan, mm-hmm. I think. 
Yeah, dance isn't that good. Oh. Jimmy Lee. Audio crackle. <laughs> that one's true. <laughs> uh, whales, that one's good, right, Olivia? But whales. Hey, Lee Beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Zach has a lot. Clayton's Kleinwater Revival. <laughs> Dude, the OnlyFans is the real one, Zach. This motherfucker will Why not even. That? Exactly. Zach won't even. Zach won't even touch that one. <laughs> what does OnlyFans mean, Zach? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That one is like, woo! That one's real, <laughs> real forbidden. Oh my that one's God. even more forbidden than the no. Klein Water Revival. Very interesting. <laughs> and yogurt, I mean, you know. Is uh, that cottage cheese or is that yogurt? <laughs> uh, that's just, that's Greek yogurt. Here's the thing right. about Greek yogurt. Cameron's is Ed Shearing. 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 Shearing, I don't know. Shearing. Is that true, Cameron? You just hate him, right? Yeah. He's Why do you hate him, him so much? Right now, Dude, I think it? it's... Yeah, I did some soul searching about that. I think it's the that. hairstyle. No, it's... It's when I worked at a restaurant, they would fucking play his music all the goddamn time. <laughs> oh. So he's like... <laughs> ingrained in my mind it's like psychological torture at guantanamo bay uh, yeah and then look at his fucking face i'm sorry i know like, i know is, he's, a, he's taunting i have me. no so problem sorry. with the face like yeah, on your like, do. My boy I, do. Ed a little I don't bit. get it my only problem is just the hairstyle like i just think and the tattoos sh are people should me? outgrow this thing the worst know? tattoos the on that. earth his he tattoos has, are rainbow yeah. color no they're awful and they're everywhere i mean he is the <laughs> proverbial redheaded stepchild Oh, I'm being but actual I can feel my blood pressure rising looking at <laughs> I feel like his eyes right now. This is not good. He seems like he looks nice though. He seems harmless. I'm sure he's, yeah, he yeah, seems love, sweet. I'm sure he's love a fine. How kind he seems. Like outside of the meme, I'm sure he's a fine guy and everything. But he just, just being overexposed to the mediocrity of his music just it really gets to me. But you think he's mediocre? Yeah, and just he's like an idiot, honestly, I don't he's know. He's an idiot. He's a dumbass. <laughs> Lego House was good. Idiot moron. Well, AB's is Michael Jackson, which uh, I don't know if you saw, but we had, a, we had a further development with Michael Jackson. Another a run-in, if you would say. Tragic. Yeah, but we're over that now, right, AB? Yeah. Don't push. <laughs> Think, don't these push. should be things that will haunt AB for the rest of his career. Tragic, yeah. These two things. All you got to do is denounce him. You're, you're good. <laughs> okay, I'm not going there again. Yeah, don't. Tragic. You know, you're better off just playing it safe and denouncing him. I saw people being like, oh, well, Ethan, what about Jerry Seinfeld? I was like, I don't fucking, I don't ride for Jerry Seinfeld. Because he, he dated like and a I ride, I ride for, 17 year I ride for old. Michael. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, I don't know. You won't say anything bad about him. You see? <laughs> so Am I saying anything good? <laughs> I don't know nothing about nobody. <laughs> These are very nuclear topics for all of us. <laughs> right, yeah. it's interesting. It's it it just nuclear. immediately. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah, yeah, yeah. But people say Jerry Seinfeld. But Seinfeld, Seinfeld I don't, it's like I don't care. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, he's he's a seventeen-year-old. I will say though, he's been in a in a marriage with kids for years now. Mm -hmm. A happy, healthy family. His, Look, his wife is like a normal age. She's not like a young. Look, I don't Mother. care. He, it was gross and creepy, you know. I still watch Seinfeld. I still, I was, li I still listen to Man in the Mirror. <laughs> I can't help it. That's good music. I don't care that he, f or I mean, I do care that he fucked a bunch of kids. But like, what can I do? I can't change the past. The music's the music, right, Dan? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thriller, fear of grown men's. I like young penises better than old penises. <laughs> Thriller, fear of puberty, that changes my perfect boys. Thoughts, AB? All right. Regardless of what I think, I'm not going to say it here. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. How about that? That's fair. <laughs> that's Ask me somewhere else, guys. I'm absolutely. Gonna... That's yeah, fair. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. And then Sam's is Japan and uh, Sanic, which is... So it's pretty interesting, though. Where is love? Oh, what was love? Love's is cheese. It's kind of weak. Yeah. You know, I like some well, what, cheese. What else could it be then? Um, it should be Yenna. Should be what? Yenna. What's yeah, Yenna? Um, Jenna? You missed it, but Yenna. there was there was an updated one that AB just found on the subreddit. And the they did add. I don't know what Jenna is. I support Jenna suddenly. Oh, Jenna oh, side. Oh. The side of Jenna. <laughs> Wait, why do you. Oh, that's Jenna. Yeah. Because I, I do, I do the D's nut, like I'm the D's nuts guys, right? Right. They and got every you. Every time I, I do anything online, 
yeah. everyone is like trying to get me with all these kind of they things. Gotcha. Same, try to get me to say slurs and all that stuff. <laughs> and one slipped through. Genocide. Yeah. I had not heard that one. I thought that was quite it's clever. It's clever. Yeah. yeah. Quite, it was yeah. clever. It was good. good. That's a good one. Uh, I see in this updated one, love, that there's a McDonald's uh, about apple about pie. About oh, pie. yeah, about that. Can we talk about I, it or no? <laughs> I I ate an apple pie on like a live stream at some point. It was a fly in it. Mm. They Ew. serve it to you with a fly in it? It has to be that. Ew, that's fucking gross, yeah, 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 yeah. dude. Nasty. Yeah, hell? but... Well, and... I fear theorized that I already ate a couple flies in it. Oh, yeah. well, why would there be like a whole grip of them? <laughs> well, I just had a feeling like the vibe was off. I was, I was, I said something about that. It's not tasting that good. And then I looked at it. It's like a fly on there. It's just kind of ruined the vibe. Keep going. Uh, here's a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. Someone made this on the subreddit named Bardavan. Why not? Let's feel the beat. Okay. Just forget about everything tonight. Oh, those are pretty fire tonight moves. just about the boys. Ooh. Just forget about it all, man. Just let it go. Okay. Oh, God. That was good. Nice. Mm-hmm. Shout out, by the way, to true crime YouTubers Kendall Ray and uh, Janelle, who are jumping on the Crowder uh, meme. And this yeah. is important that we spread this far and wide so i honor them yeah Dude, he is what that doesn't is work for me either either, <laughs> either. doesn't work either no that doesn't work either no, doesn't no, work that doesn't either. work either no that doesn't I work either <laughs> how many of the listeners when you guys were listening to this episode felt like you needed to do it immediately in the car i found myself Everybody. doing it because it's yeah. so nice to say either. it's like you can't either even either, either. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to say Either. I forgot to introduce at the top of the show, but uh, a friend from YouTube is here, Mick, Hello. and her significant other. How's it uh, going? How's do you want to hit a either for us? Oh, you know what? Yes, I actually did practice this in <laughs> my car the other day when you guys were all doing it. <laughs> oh my um, god! So, Hila, I feel you. Um, <laughs> No, that doesn't work either. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank nice. You. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> and what's your uh, boyfriend's name? I forgot. Sorry. This is Jeremy. Jeremy, you want to oh, hit that or not? Nah? Uh, not, not really. <laughs> okay. Doesn't work either. Don't do it either. It doesn't work. <laughs> Does that not work for you either? It doesn't work for him either. Okay. Yeah. How you guys doing? Uh, uh, Mick is a fan. Thank you, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And um. I'm happy uh, that you stopped by to say hi. Yeah. Thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. And you work on like shorts, right? YouTube shorts? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I work on shorts specifically, um, usually with like creators who are big off of YouTube, but kind of want to figure out YouTube. It's usually like TikTokers or Instagram creators. Um, and they tend to want to do shorts first. So that's sort of how that worked out. There it is. Yep. Illuminati. <laughs> Did you know Wajowski before she retired? Did you ever meet her? I met her once, actually. Um, I met her in December because a creator that I worked with was doing an event at our office um, in the Bay Area. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's my she's a good, 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 oh, good, good yeah. friend of mine, Best as you friends. know. Yeah, they're I real know. tight. They're real tight. <laughs> Super yeah. tight. I heard there there are pictures of her at your wedding. Mm -hmm. She's been at like every major life event that you've ever yeah. had. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. We're tight with the, the Wajinski. Yeah. <laughs> the whole Wajinski family is like yeah. tight, yeah. tight, tight, tight. Sure. Yeah, but now that totally. she's gone, I gotta make new connections. Right. Who yeah. taken over her position, do we know? It was the head of I know who he is. I don't remember his name. He was the head of product, or who is he? His name's Neil. Uh, Neil. Neil Mohan. Yeah, he's head of product. Yeah, he has been there forever. I think he was our old friend's boss. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When my friend Neil bent over, this happened. <laughs> has he bent over? Have we seen his prolapse? Uh, is that on in public yet or no? <laughs> You know, I don't think so, but I was telling Jeremy before we came here that I was really afraid you were going to make us watch the prolapse. Do you, would you like to? <laughs> I mean, you're here. I, I mean, I feel like it's such a deep part of the lore, and I still have not. I was, I was just literally going to ask oh you. <laughs> we're, so, you we're so uh, entwined right now. I had a feeling you would, so I thought I'd get ahead of it. Jeremy, are you a, do you watch this show, or is it uh, mostly um, Mick? 
she she introduced me to it, and now I watch it more and more. Okay. It's on. Okay. <laughs> okay. And have you ever seen a prolapse, a human prolapse before? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Because this isn't like a light prolapse. This no. is like the real deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so this is... <laughs> okay. So can we show it to like, them there? I don't know the difference. Can you pull it up for them and then just get their reaction? <laughs> yeah, if someone sent it to me, I can show it to them. Yeah, so what you're about to see, just to cue this up for you, it's a bit of a rite of passage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a friend of the show, mm -hmm. Hunger FF. Mm -hmm. The FF stands for fist fucking. Of course. Of course. And he is the <laughs> premier uh, top male uh, performer. performer who specializes in prolapsing. In fact, uh, some have even estimated that he can prolapse like a full 10 inches out from his anus. And it's not just long, Jeremy, it's thick. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good for him. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, no, he's a he's a real talent. And Mick, as a fan, you've probably wondered what what was in this video. You One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Totally. If you wondered, it can't be that bad. Or or were you like, I'm sure it's that bad. Probably some combination of the two, somewhere in between. Um, <laughs> but I, I do anticipate that it will indeed be that bad. It's stunning. Talk about it, it is stunning. I mean, it really. It in my opinion, it really takes. Takes your breath away. Mm -hmm. Love that. So, so the video itself does not go on stream? No, no. only you guys will no. see it. No. No, no. no. I'm pretty sure I would be like banned. immediately, permanently banned if I showed that on a live. No, no one from YouTube will see it. You're good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, are we ready? Oh, you're going to show them on the phone? Okay, just look real close now. Look real close. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and show them. So, yeah, <laughs> so here you guys go. Yeah, enjoy this. And you put it sideways, so I can't. <laughs> Wait, how come you can't do it sideways? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mick and Jeremy. I don't, I don't think this is what I expected. Oh, I don't. Think and <laughs> do you see them going prolapse to prolapse yet? Or no? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But I'm sure we will. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Yeah, sorry for the spoiler alert. <laughs> Tell me when you see the prolapse, the prolapse, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there and it I've is. never seen anything like that oh. in my whole life. Neither have I. Uh -huh. Neither have uh -huh. I. <laughs> <laughs> the bubbles always really surprise me. The bubbles, right. Yeah. So, oh, don't I don't know. If they're pretty visible. You never seen it? No, the which? Oh, the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very oh, visible. They're, they're I'm telling you. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Good Thank job, you. you. Oh, wow, survive. <laughs> Baptized by fire. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. Um, you guys did it. Looking back at my bar mitzvah photos, I I remember fondly Susan. Uh, she she, <laughs> she oh, wow. my tour portion. And That's so nice. She was my cantor. Right. Mm -hmm. We sang together with love and joy in our hearts. She really did not age. She looks good, yeah. Didn't she? Yeah. she got that billionaire weird yeah. stem cell shit going. Yeah, adrenochrome. Yeah, for sure. She tried to get some adrenochrome from me. I was like, uh-uh, <laughs> don't think so. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> that was. An experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, those are my thoughts. Do you have any other thoughts? Okay. Uh, I mean, of all the prolapse videos that I've seen, <laughs> that was uh, that was one of them. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that was. It was. <laughs> yeah, you guys will be excited to know. I don't think I'm stealing any thunder by saying it. I mean, I'm hyping him up. Mm -hmm. Hunger is uh, actually made a mold of his prolapse. They mm -hmm. just made some kind of fleshlight of his uh, fully prolapsed <laughs> anus. That's coming out soon, uh, Mick, if you guys, mm -hmm. if you guys want one. <laughs> we also, uh, we're setting up a call with him, too. Yeah, he's calling in to unveil, because I got one for nice. us and one for Howie. Thank God, oh. miss him. <laughs> I got one for Howie. Of course I did. He, I just gotta say real quick about Hunger, he is such a good guy, yeah. and yeah. he's so appreciative yeah, he, really uh, he is the man he's uh, like you guys this audience is like way better because he was on he was on stern he's like you mm -hmm. guys are way fucking better than that shit 
Like he's so nice. He's such a good guy. Nice. He, gotta he, give a shout out. he is genuinely he's a really total sweet. sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And you can tell he's very professional about yeah. about it. Like and talented. It's serious. Yeah. 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 I mean, he's like you know, in a sense, like Tiger Woods. Uh, he's a he's mm -hmm. a master of his craft of the sport mm -hmm. of prolapsing. Mm -hmm. the he's Woods out there on the green. He's putting in the hours. He's the he's Beethoven the of butthole, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So true, so true. Hole in one. Mm, so, a hole uh, in one. Mm -hmm. I have a question for Mick. When you watch the show as, as somebody on the side of YouTube, but also a listener, what does it feel like? Are you sometimes at the edge of your seat when, some, when Ethan is like, <laughs> I have a joke that I'm not sure if I should say? <laughs> you know, I think since I'm, I'm not like your YouTube rep directly, I get right. to enjoy it um, more so than anything else. Mm -hmm. um, but I am friends with your YouTube bro. Oh. <laughs> and, you know, he enjoys it too. So. He's a good okay. guy. My, yeah, my he's a yeah. good guy. Yeah, I think it, yeah. the decision doesn't come down from him. I know. He's I just, know. he's the messenger. Yeah. yeah. When he calls me, I get, I told him. I don't Ethan know gets he, so nervous when he gets. Well, I told him, I said, before you call me, you need to message <laughs> me. You're not in trouble. Yeah. And he started doing that. <laughs> okay, that's good. Because every time he calls, I legit, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So he started, yeah. So we have we have good uh, <laughs> rapport in that way. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Should we get? Are you guys hungry? <laughs> you hungry? After that prolapse video, that is what your appetite. <laughs> Appetites abound. Are you hungry? Uh, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess thank we are not hungry, but thank okay, you. Okay. So the much. status oh, is okay. not hungry. From yes. That's not how I interpret the uh, Jeremy. The Kind of looked to me like, sure. Mick. But yes. I already ate, so. Mick, or I mean, Jeremy, <laughs> you're a little hungry. You could admit that. I think he is. Yeah, don't be shy. Like... What, what are we offering? Okay. All right, don't push. <laughs> you guys hungry? Should we get something for Friday? <laughs> Because we are guests here and stuff. Mexican food. I think that would be nice. For Cinco de Mayo. There it is. <laughs> no, I don't feel like Mexican. You got oh, okay. to them. I'm just kidding. Cut the music. You I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, sure. We can get Mexican food. <laughs> I think I'll die if I eat it, but fuck it. I'll go out doing what I love. <laughs> I had a few bites of Elon's burrito and I almost died, like genuinely. But fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with it, Dan. Come on, don't be shy. I just did it. Just no, did. but I need it Dude, now. don't push. Don't push. That doesn't don't work. Push. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know to do that? I, I can't do that. The oh, I don't know. I'm from SoCal. Don't we all know how to do it? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you grow up here, you hear. If anything, I should know how to do it. I feel like people like um, people in Israel do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> David Dobrik, so good at it. Middle Eastern one's a little yeah, bit Middle different. Yeah, Middle Eastern. Middle Can Eastern you do it? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what that it one is harder to do. I can't <laughs> do that one yeah, either. Yeah, that one's harder. That doesn't work for me either. <laughs> 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 Lena, you got it in you? Yeah, I can do it. Can okay. we can we can yeah, we get one? <laughs> 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 I don't know if I've ever actually done it. I've just always okay. done my aunts and stuff at weddings. I was dope. <laughs> Uh, we could get uh, Mexican, or to be fair, and I'll go with the masses. But that sandwich place you guys were rocking with did sound but smell bussin. Oh, that was really Which good. Which one? I don't know. I just came in one day and they're all eating sandwiches. It smelled hella good. Freaking hecka good, dude. Mm. But not getting get Mexican on Cinco de Mayo—that's racist. You kept that. Yeah. The music racist is doing that. <laughs> getting what about Italian Tokai? subs? On what? Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> True. Jeez. Okay, fine. Get the fuck True. Mexican. <laughs> but we should get those sandwiches next week. They're really good. All right, so so who you want, who wants to take the order? We'll do that. I just, you want to take the I know what I now? want. I am, I just want rice and beans. Okay. Yeah, I can take care of the order. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> hey, we got some Ollie London updates. 
Holy fucking London! Peaky fucking London! Boy, I love you, Ole! Jimmy Salvin! I always have my mouth open like this! London will fix it! It's a cute K pop face! K pop! Oh my god. Wow. Uh, Ollie London, who is. I saw the. You were telling Hassan that I was shocked when you showed me. Yeah. And yeah, I want to emphasize like when I saw that the shirts that he's selling had kids' sizes on it them. It was just kids' just sizes. Just kids' sizes. I was like, what? <laughs> well, just the irony. Like, the, first of all, the irony, it's exactly what he's saying he's got a problem with that he's doing it. Even more, he's causing them groomers. It's like, it's and, the, way... and then I do wonder why does he have kid audience too? He doesn't. Who, why would he make that? That's a good yeah. question. Rumor. It's still on his website. <laughs> you know? Well, deleting it now would be admitting that there was something yeah. wrong with it. So now he's stuck with this <laughs> we weird made ass shit. Yeah. From Three I, to four years. I was like this. <laughs> when I saw it, I was just <laughs> shocked. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. When I found it, I was like, oh, this is this is great. <laughs> Ole. Can't wait to get his thoughts on this. Ole, what you doing, Ole? Jimmy, no fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Ole is uh, still doing damage control. Actually, Mm-hmm. His post yesterday on Twitter was qu- quite intriguing um, and, and ironic, too. I'll read it to you. First, he says, okay. After the extremely rude and unprofessional unpro- interview I had earlier with Podcaster H3 <laughs> Podcast, sure, where they tried to twist <laughs> my words, they literally said afterwards, Host, that's me, My hope in this was that we could at least damage his reputation. Producer, Dan, it depends how it's selectively edited. Ha ha ha. Now, the degree the degree to which these guys actually went to prove your original statement right surprised even us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's original statement, of course, and maybe you can find the timestamp. Uh, I remember that, that this is not how the conversation <laughs> went. I said I want to damage reputation, and Dan said it depends how they selectively edit. Yes, they. Yes, of course. It was very clear what he meant. Yeah. And so then watch how he, watch how, what, watch what he posted. I hope that, my hope in this was that we can at least damage his reputation. Maybe. Oh, geez, nice cut. Very, uh, <laughs> very <laughs> elegant. Yeah. Reputation. Maybe. You think I it just depends on how it's uh, selectively edited, you know? Right. Yeah, we don't need oh, to I edit see. it to damage your reputation, bro. The, just, well, the irony not... of selectively editing the clip, yeah. talking about how he's going to selectively <laughs> it's, edit, it, yeah. it's, it's, awesome. it's kind of awesome, to it's be honest. It's stunning, it is, it's stunning. And actually... Because um, I remember listening to this, and that's not what I got from that conversation. No. Obviously, you guys don't edit the it's episode. A, it's a live episode. It's a hundred percent live. The episode is up, like yeah. to watch right now with yeah. no edits. So I don't know what. This rip a, is obviously so crazy. Here is uh, the actual statement. Okay. Clout. I hope that my hope in this was that we can at least damage his reputation with his new friends. I, I kind of feel like it might go the other way. You might have just alley ooped him a little bit with his friends. I feel like. I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, he has the same points that he repeats time after time. The guy alley like him, maybe. Well, look, it's it's, talk it's happening. Yeah, maybe. I don't know about the alley oop. Alley oop's like Kobe. It's happening. Off the easy, I don't know. You think I alley It just depends him? on how it's uh, selectively edited, you know. Right. <laughs> Isn't that fucking awesome? Yeah. Hassan's- <laughs> yeah, pretty stunning. So good. Well done, Oliver. That's right shambles, man. That's right shambles you've done there. <laughs> what <laughs> have you got there? Only the London. Only London. K-Paul. Jimmy Salvin. Cut it up. No. Ethan. Long live the king. Sword sausage fingers. Chat is saying Ollie looped. Ollie looped. Ollie looped. Ollie looped. Ollie looped. We Ollie looped him. You're right though. He should go by Oily London. Oily, because he's a slimy little fucker. Ooh. Oily London. Love that. A greasy little fuck. You know what? He was so annoying with how he kept saying like, just offer them mental health therapy, and it's like, 
they already get that. Like when somebody gets to the point of actually transitioning, it's already after years <coughs> of yeah. going through shit and going to therapists and dealing with this. Well, you the know? gender affirming care is the mental health. And that, that is part of it. The association for pediatrics and psychiatry, these are two different medical associations that both agree that children with dysphoria, the the correct treatment is gender affirming care. Mm -hmm. That's like the medical literature yeah. and con medical consensus. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is Crazy. a nice. It says us all waiting for Ethan to come back after he hits the button. <laughs> with you in the. Oh, look at all the oh, detail Dan, they added. <laughs> Dan, I was having a like Gabe stare off with him, and then you thought it was frozen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, is it frozen? Because I, I was going to keep staring him down, but... Yeah. Well, because it it had frozen before, if you recall. His yeah. Wi-Fi cut out, right. so I just thought it cut out again. But no, it was just <laughs> just a staring contest. Man. <sighs> that was a crazy one. You know, uh, let's see what else, other but, stories um, we got. Thank you for fighting the good fight. You're welcome. Thank you. I do it for On you. On behalf of... <laughs> I do it for you. You know what it's called when we need it. Ollie has a spank? It's called Ollie Oil. <laughs> no good. <Hey>, what? <laughs> <laughs> A bad bitch with no ass. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, Got, Got him. Got him. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying it on for size. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 uh, we've got a few other stories. We got Dubrick on kick. Dubrick. We've got uh, okay. Mom influencer convicted of lying about kids attempted kidnapping at Michael's <laughs> craft go. store. We've got uh, homeless man saves baby headed in. I saw that video. That video is stunning. Maybe we should end on that. We'll end on a it's good a real note. fast one. I mean, it's not even really heartwarming. It's kind of oh, like it's, not. I thought it's it more. Like it's it just all bad. I don't know. It, oh, it's all bad. Yeah, it's all oh, bad. I, That's not okay. what I thought. I thought I read... it was a beautiful well, video. Well, I'm staring at this woman who's just she's ready <laughs> right. to watch her child <laughs> right. get run over oh, by but a fucking what? truck. That's gonna piss guess me what? Off. That's not what happens. It's not, it's not what happens. The child is fine, and therefore it is. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You read the title of the story. Did you guys cut the part where she eats shit? What's going on here? What is happening okay so it, this it is the mom so it's Falls? A, here i'll play it Wait, this what? is not playing from the beginning i don't know why that dude does not look homeless by the way that that dude didn't look like homeless he looked like he worked at sears i don't know how you can tell that from he's just wait, he's wearing a whole black get up he's tucked in he's yeah, well, that's no, that, he, from the reporting. he had recently moved back if, if, in the story he had recently moved back to live that with man his works family. at jiffy that was actually me yeah. okay, we, he had just left <laughs> the job interview yeah. at applebee's can we restart Alfredo, this? where are you going <laughs> go get him shredder <laughs> can no, we it, can we yeah. relaunch this conversation oh, here Guys, what is this? Oh, this wow. It's crazy. It's not the whole thing. It is. You just got to hear this. That wasn't it. Yeah. Okay. It shows her it's too zoomed in or something. Let it play. Oh. They can't get out because they've heard like the weasel side. Oh, jeez. This isn't the whole video. It's too zoomed in. Yeah, it's like this. I want the whole shot, you know, where you can see her coming out, falling in the car and all this. You know what I mean? But anyway, here, here it is. So she... Oh. She didn't lock the wheels. You know how that is. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's. But she did try. And she, she comes fell. out. She eats shit hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she looks like older, so that could be a bad. <laughs> but the, I mean, knee. she can't get up, and yeah, I mean, she's situation. just watching. And uh, well, there goes the baby's literally going. Like, there's no other outcome. That baby's gonna die. It's fine, maybe. You can barely see anything. God. Alfredo, what's your food there? What are you eating, dog? Alfredo found something to chew on. Uh, yeah, here it is. Thank you. Looks like that guy from Better Call Saul. You know okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, that's so fucked up. 
But like, I can't watch. I mean, this. this is hell. This is hell. You're 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 just stuck there. What? This is a night. This is actually a scene from a nightmare. Watch Watching it. your baby roll into oncoming traffic, and and also the baby's facing her. Right? Look at you can see the baby's face. This is gonna haunt me. Yeah, I told you it's horrible. It's not heartwarming. Well, the nightmare. Well, it's the worst watching. thing. <laughs> I know, but like, it doesn't doesn't matter that Jiffy Lube guy saved her. I mean, it does, but the scenario is the nightmare thing. Yeah, like they say, perfect timing. At the right place, at the right time. Dude, that is so scary. I mean, it's just so terrifying. Where did that guy even come from? I mean, damn. Holy fuck. She hit hard, too, boy. Yeah. She, like, bounced almost. She almost did, like, a... She like body surfed the ground almost. This is terrifying. <laughs> <sighs> Great. Another thing to keep me up at night. <laughs> the fall is pretty funny though if you isolate it from literally everything. Because you know what my, my nightmare now is? Like this could be like a grandparent, you know, and oh, they like man. forget to lock it. Man. She's it is a grandparent. the great aunt of the big exactly. Oh, I wouldn't give my kid a no great aunt. That's <laughs> far that's way too far removed. Hell no. Well, you don't know the family situation. Nah, I, 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 no great aunt. Okay, moving end. on to the next video of today. <laughs> <laughs> but the fall is funny, right? Back no, me up. No, no. Nobody backs me up. Like, I completely cool. back you up. It's fucking hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> this cartoon ass Looney Tunes fucking <laughs> thank Elmer you. Fudd ass person. Thank you. Falling <laughs> over and over okay, again. Thank you. Jesus no, Christ. I didn't want to speak up because everybody was taking it so seriously. But my God, this shit had me in tears. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> well, but the, the, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm a parent, but like the scenario of you put yourself in this scenario, it's the worst thing. Watching someone fall and hurt themselves, it's very funny. So I'm quite confused. <laughs> you know, she hits the ground like a goddamn bag of dirt. <laughs> Look at that! Boom, dude. She she almost was like, I'm not getting up from this. She's like, just bury me here. <laughs> I mean, you ever hit this? You've seen them when you hit the ground that hard, or both their legs are up. <laughs> Stop like a little torpedo. <laughs> Stop it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I saw somebody hit Cam, the ground we, that hard, was a Cam, do we have the edit? I just dropped it. Yeah. I was afraid to drop it because you guys were taking it so serious. But yeah. Dan, Dan and I workshopped this before yeah, the we, show. Yeah, we have a little, we have a little edit in the chat oh, if you shit. want to pull that up. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. no, not an edit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh fuck me! I hate this. Ain't no great aunt watching my baby. Hell no. Nah. The somebody in the chat said their great aunt raised them. Okay, good for you. There's exceptions to all the rules. Right. Of course. Just saying in general. But majority, no great aunts. Great aunts cannot be yeah. trusted. <laughs> That's Just... a consensus. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You guys don't At that understand. Point she did this is a fear I didn't need to have. I didn't need to have this in my brain. Now I have a new one to, to yeah. worry about every time. I mean, the idea of this being on like, what's funny, some videos or something. Dude, I was so afraid to drop this <laughs> because I thought you guys would kill me if I dropped that. No, Alfredo, <laughs> look at him. Alfredo, what, what are you doing? Oh god, what is, is Alfredo got? He's got a he's got a top. a top of a Tupperware like bigger than his head, and he's walking with it. Whose Tupperware is that? <laughs> he stole like, that out of my bag. Yeah, <laughs> Alfredo, you little sneak. <laughs> He might have been stealing food out of your bag because he's been out no, here. No, there's, there's no food you in there. Stinker, no, you little stinker. <laughs> <laughs> did you tell you Lena what chill. you did everyone tell Lena what they want? I did. What what is the options uh Bizandra's burrito? Hmm. Is this the super spicy fucked up place? Where are we ordering from? All I know is you guys this is where you guys usually get from. <laughs> oh it is? The Mexican place, yeah. Great, let's order from the spicy. fucked up place. What's just the thing that's least likely to kill to make me die of Rice diarrhea? And beans. Salad or something? Die of dysentery, Oregon Trail style. 
I'm telling oh, don't you, do that. just rice and beans. Go start a salad. Oh, yeah, don't, just don't do your normal thing where I'll you put like. I'll take the chicken burrito with extra spicy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't do that. I'll Beauty. take that. Good for weight loss. Don't she get extra spicy. I'm on that Louis Armstrong weight loss regimen, baby. Yeah, no spicy. That's a yes. joke. Okay, okay, thank you. Jesus. It'll, it'll be, it'll be whenever, like you never ate it. it whenever you right eat Mexican food, he has to ask for like. All the salsas they have times five. I love salsa. And he dumps it all in one dish, like I love just like a salsa, salsa dish, yeah, basically. Mean, soup. Like, that's yes, soup. it's a soup. I fucking love salsa, dude. If you don't. But understand. then he's like, "What's wrong with my stomach?" <laughs> 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 to be honest with you guys, I have been dieting so hard that I feel unwell, and I know some of y'all are gonna feel bad for me and be like, "Oh, don't. I don't want to hear it." I don't want anybody to tell me anything. I just want to tell you guys that I'm dying. <laughs> I'm not getting enough calories. I'm not sleeping. Oh my God. I'm like tired all the time. Wow. I have super bad acid reflux because I'm not eating enough. So the acid's coming up into my throat. And I've got like, I'm getting like acid reflux, which I haven't had in a long time. So I had to up my dose of omaprazole. But I'm at I'm at two fifteen, and that's what the fuck is up. So all y'all who want to say no, Ethan, you're not supposed to starve yourself. No, Ethan, you're not supposed to go into a medical coma. Cheers, nurse, roping or on their own boy. <laughs> Jack for sleeping at your nose. At least someone understands me. Anuki. It's, I did it all for the Anuki. <laughs> so this is what I'm dealing with. But I'm telling you guys, mm -hmm. I'm, go I'm, I, I'm, I'm making the progress that I've wanted for years. So like, okay. we're going, it's happening. It sucks. Mm -hmm. Look, losing weight sucks. It's like the hardest thing in the world. And it's fucking miserable. But we're there. We're getting there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But does that mean healthy? You when I mean? did I ever mention health? It's all about skinny. Skinny. It's all about skinny. Well, no, uh, health. I mean, listen. I just want to get there, and then I'll worry about health. You know what I mean? I feel like not enough energy to. I exercise. do feel like I do feel like you've made so many good changes that once you get to a spot that you feel comfortable with, then you're gonna be able to maintain it in a healthy way. Because I've seen you do it. I Recently, agree. I've seen you be able to maintain. When I lost like the first twenty. Yeah. I maintained for mm -hmm. a long time. And you were eating whatever you want, like in moderation. Yeah. It didn't. It seemed healthy. But it wasn't working for me either. No. As long as you end up healthy at the end of your road, beautiful. Yeah. Once yeah. I get there, then. I sit there at the end of the night, I'll lay down on the couch, and I go, I should do the treadmill, but I feel like I can't. Don't have that energy. Just keep thinking about that. Uh, Dan's dome. Maybe That's try it. doing it in the that. morning. Remember you did it a few times? The morning? Yeah. Because also, um, we just get so tired by the time the kids go to sleep. It's true. It's I, ha I lately just crash. Like... Well, I plan on doing things. Usually I used to be able to do emails after they go to sleep and then maybe draw and stuff. And lately it's just like I get to do nothing. I just fall asleep on the couch. I used to. Well, yeah. When I did my big weight loss push, the last one, I was exercising at night. But I know I know what you mean. It's just it gets harder to do stuff at night. By the time they're both sleeping, it's like so exhausting. I don't want to dance again. I don't want to dance again. I don't know the words of this one. Time can never last. Time can never, can never last. The careless twist of To the end of my life. My life is kind. I'm solving the truth. Pain is so awful. <laughs> I know I don't want to dance with him. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. Dumbass idiot. 
<laughs> fucking idiot. Oh, fuck, I love that. Moron. Rip. There it is. <laughs> the lesson from this video... Don't trust the great aunt. Right, oh, okay. Period. On Garsh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, but the real lesson always locked the freaking stroller. Goddamn. True. So that's, uh, I don't know why, again, it says homeless. So why are we insulting this guy who's just, he came from Jiffy Lube? There's like backstory. No, right? yeah, there's backstory to <laughs> it. <are> you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this man's name is Ronald Nesman. He's a former truck driver who tragically lost his girlfriend, mm -hmm. causing him to spiral into homelessness. Jesus. Are we, this is a feel good story? Or are we trying to, you know it what is. I mean? Like, well, I what mean, else reading. happened? According Keep to reading. you, it's a, it's a lie because he's not homeless. He works at Jiffy Lube. He looked, he looked ready, uh, from what I saw. He looked ready to change the oh oil. God. He had just recently moved back to Hesperia, Hesperia, to reconnect with his family. Oh, we got an interview with the guy. Okay, now we can really make a, dis a distinction. Was, was, um, was going towards traffic. And, uh, I was taking oh, that dude's, yeah, that dude's homeless. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I would say it looks like he works at Jiffy Lube. <laughs> That's homeless Dan. <laughs> That's Dan. On hard times, boy. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Saving babies. <laughs> Learn from the best, AB. He's a good man, though. And as the second yeah. person runs in to help the woman, Good Samaritan Ron Nesman walks the stroller. He's a sweet guy. He went and hugged her and stuff. She was, He's a yeah. she was crying. Uh, she, she was just in shock. That's why I gave her a hug. It all happened yeah, you're a good man. afternoon around 3.30 in front of A1 Car Wash on Bear Valley Road. Right in front of Jiffy Lube. Have an A1 day. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good service right there. Ron says he was there with his sister Donna and was dressed nicely for a job interview he had earlier. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. Looking sharp. Mm -hmm. Looking to turn his life around. Applebee's. Get a job. Applebee's. And, uh, I was like, mm -hmm. my sister goes, I'm going to get my car washed. And I was like, look at me. Look at the way I'm I hope you got that job. I don't slacks. I don't dress. I go, Let's, let me go change. And she goes, no one's going to see you. <laughs> but thousands have mm -hmm. seen Ron. Funny. The heart stopping violence. They better hire him. Making its way around. Yeah. Yeah, hey, he deserves, Applebee's, you better not fuck around. World. Not just an Applebee's I mean, job. He deserves like, the world. He's going to be a celeb waiter. Security? Mm -hmm. Office security? Ooh. Just invite every <laughs> yeah. everyone. Just come, come on, on over. Yeah. Do you want to dance with me? Do you want to dance with but me? But it's it's very sweet. He says the baby was smiling at him as he oh as he brought God. it back. That's uh, but that's also part of what's haunting about it. Yes. Stop oh, maybe. <laughs> baby sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Ezra Miller cooked pasta mystery. This is a strange one. We have a cooked pasta mystery. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> weird story. Hundreds of pounds of cooked pasta mysteriously dumped in New Jersey woods. <laughs> New Jersey town what? was discovered a mystery in a creek bed. Lots of pasta. <laughs> Haunting. <laughs> Ooh. So we have all kinds of different pastas. Ooh. We have long noodle pasta. We have... Spagatini. Mag uh, spagatini. I love ya. I love the spagatini. Mm. I love the spagatini. <laughs> We've got just oh. what the fuck, dude. <laughs> That's creepy. Why would anybody do that? <laughs> just pounds of cooked pasta transported out here. Left mysteriously by a by a creek. Oh. Was in the house. I'll tell you, man, I went down there one day with my buddy Jim Bob with all the spaghetti we've been cooking up. Left that down by the creek because I knew I knew that spaghetti down there mm. it wasn't the only thing about to have its own last supper. In fact, me and Jim Bob used to sit around there eat some of that spaghetti noodles by the creek. And I looked over at my good friend Jim Bob. And I said, boy, those noodles, 
last thing going to slide down that throat of yours. Except for the knife, of course. Got desires too, Jim Bob? Hate to think about it, because family, real good Christian type, they come around looking for him. I, of course, told him I ain't never seen him. I buried, I just saw him down, at, last time I saw him was down at the pasta piles, I told him. Does everybody in town know about them pasta piles? We don't know how they got there, but they're there. The good old folk from the town, they come, eat the noodles. If you ain't got no dinner, you come down a creek, eat some of them noodles. I saw a button. For myself? <laughs> Excuse me. You can't button me. It, it, it turned your mic off. Um. I'll tell you what. I, sometimes me and the boys, we go down there with a, a bottle of marinara. Fix ourselves up some noodles down by the creek. It's a good time, you know, those noodles like that. Nobody knows who makes them. So. But I tell you, I've been eating them for years, ain't so, of course, Jim Bob's family come around. They say, y'all seen Jim Bob? I say, no, last time I seen him was with the noodle down by the creek. Of course, the truth. Was right. Just got the Jim, got the, the John Deere out there and started dead. This time, though, to be extra sure, I put a little layer of concrete, about a foot, foot deep, make sure that bottom was nice and tight. I shoved that up, shoved that down. <laughs> so when the storm coming on through, ain't got to worry about no body coming to fluff into the top. Jim Bobby's a good man. He deserves to be fluffing around like that. I knew the time I was on that riverboat down in Mississippi. Steamboat, you know the old type, churn the water through the gears and all that? <laughs> Good time out there, nice. Nice breeze on a hot day, that old riverboat. But, I hate to say it, but... Good as it is... <laughs> Good as the memories is, is that riverboat. There's some bad ones too, boy, and I hate to think about it, but it is the truth. <laughs> and if there's anything to say about me, it is that I'll tell you the truth, boy. Ain't no way about it. Yep. Yeah. Me and Jezusiah. Me and Jezusiah. What? <laughs> yeah, we used to hit that riverboat, hit down that fly fishing on there. Catch some of them catfish y'all heard about in the south. Yeah, they fry up good, boy. Yeah, so me and Jezusiah out there throwing, throwing the line, catch, bringing in the, the cats, as they say. This one wasn't no, this one was an accident, boy. I didn't mean to hurt no Jezusiah. He's a good man. We was drinking <laughs> a little bit. Jezusiah, drink, get a little drunk. I said, Jezusiah, brother, you got to slow down, man. He got a drinking problem. You know, he come down. He come home. He drunk. He drive drunk. I tried to talk to Jezusiah. I said, brother, you got to slow down. Problem was, he had a hard life. He wasn't ready to slow down none. Kept drinking. <laughs> I burned my leg. Are you okay? Oh my God. I got a friend AB one day. He's on the bike. Burned his leg so The smell of the singed flesh got me thinking about dark thoughts I ain't had in a long time. You ever tasted human flesh? Mmm. <laughs> I tell you, man, most people won't expect, but that ain't, that is not, that is a fry up real nice. You ever cut a steak out of a thigh, clean it up, bread that up? What? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, man. The thigh tastes good, but ain't nothing like a rump. The slow.